Hello, everybody. Welcome to Critter Crow. <laughs> Critter Cove. Sorry. A upcoming cozy scrapyard uh, life sim that is developed uh, by Gentleman Rat and published by Tiny Build. So, yeah. This is a upcoming game coming out in the first quarter of 2024 in early access. We have a little bit of a look, early look of the uh, beta. The early access beta which i believe everybody will get to play here in the next couple of days too i think i think is how it is or it will open up a little bit more here soon this game is full co controller support and it's going to be a single player game not a multiplayer game but nonetheless we're going to be diving into this and seeing what it's all about i want to say a special thank you to tiny build for sending me an extra key or a key to uh <laughs> to uh to check it out early here so i'm very excited to, to jump into this i know a lot of you have also been uh, here on the channel have been asking me to, to check out this game too so i'm glad it all, it all kind of like meshed very well together my lord i'm stumbling over my words today um yeah so what is critter cove in case you are new and have no idea what this game's all about uh, very well. Uh, rebuild an island town alongside a quirk cast of critters in this open world cozy life sim. Explore a vibrant and mysterious archipelago. Pelago? Oh, frick no. Now you're going to hit me with these uh, these big words. <laughs> Build a thriving community and make new friends all in a colorful handcrafted post post apocalypse. Your new life in this cozy island paradise awaits. Some people have been like kind of comparing this to like... Um, a little bit of a, a mixture of a little bit of a, a lot of things and i've heard animal crossing yeah i've heard animal crossing be uh kind of mixed in with the uh, uh similarities so i'm kind of excited very excited to uh to check this out if you enjoyed what you see here in critter cove and you want to see more critter cove when it is uh dropped in early access uh, or when we have more uh you know availability to it <coughs> simply just hit the like button and you can uh, get all of that apparently so yeah and subscribe for more content by me i apologize with the with that that was that was on cue wasn't it it was it's very on cue yeah <laughs> anyways yeah so um i do want to say something real quick um if you are a member of the channel listen up if you are a member of the channel and you know if you have been around for a while and by the way thank you donna donna for becoming a member of the channel just like a few minutes ago thank you very much donna i appreciate that but if you are a member of the channel uh make sure to join the discord we have a members only uh channel and uh, make sure to link your youtube account with the discord so that your membership matches up with your discord because today at the end of my stream i will be dropping nine i'll be dropping nine keys so that you can play critter cove today nine keys in the membership channel and it's first come first serve and i will do that at the end of the stream today so make sure to get into the discord if you are a member of the channel connect it and i will be giving out nine keys to go all right so that's what we have going on today uh, other than that let's go ahead and play some critter cove and see what this is all about yeah very well very well um i had a little bit of trouble uh actually like kind of putting the settings down <laughs> when i opened up the game it wanted to kind of go to my other monitors and then like the resolution wasn't correct anyways i tackled it i'm here it's great so yeah Anyways, hope everyone's doing well, and I hope you all are having a great day. Uh, it is a... Whoa, is it Friday? Is, it is a Friday. It is a Friday, indeed. Welcome, everybody, on this Friday. Good to see ya. Uh-oh. I'm gonna be tabbing in and out of the game a bit, so I apologize with the frame right there. Um, hello, Ambers. Hello, Serendipity. And again, thank you, Donna. Appreciate it. Hello, Rock Garden. How are you doing? Hello, Susie T. Um, Margaret, how are you? Care Bear, good to see you. Natalie, welcome in, welcome in. Jonathan, hello. Maggie, good to see you. Time Align, FBK, Kimberly, hello, hello. Blue Wolves, how are you? Good to see you. Arborita, how are you? Masumi, good to see you. Glory Stars, Glory Stars, Velvet Glove, welcome in. Anti Meow, Brittany, how are you? Christy Knight, Lis Lissa, Lissa, Lisa, Lis Lissy, sorry, Lissy. How are you, Lissy? Good to see you. Welcome in. Hello, Susie Lenihart. Lenihart? 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 Good to see you, Mary. Welcome in, Maris. Maya Sim, how are you? Azine Dragon, welcome in. Welcome in. Yes. Lady Dash, hello. Shay, welcome in. Zoe, hello. Q, welcome in. Valentine Clifford, welcome, welcome, welcome in. Uh, 
<laughs> hello, cat. How are you? Hope hero. Hello, hello, hello. Diamond cat. Yes, welcome in. Hello. Merivik, hello. Blue wolves. Did I say hello to you already? Well, you might have got a second one. Hi, how you doing, blue wolves? Welcome in. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, T. Hello, hello. Chocolate latte. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, yes, yes. Amber. Wait, I think I already said Amber's. Hello, Amber. <laughs> Welcome in. Oh, trying to keep up with everybody in their names. Hi, Queen. Hey, Digger Payne. How are you? Hello, Sassy Mom. Torina, Donna. Hello, hello. Breckles. Jeanette, how are you? Good to see you. Payall, how, how you doing? Payall. Payall. Hopefully, I say your name correctly. Good to see you as well. <laughs> I know, trying testing out the pronunciation as well. Welcome in, Ruth. Good to see you. Hello, Chibi. Welcome in. And everybody lurking, smirking, and possibly working on this so called day. Welcome in. Yeah, good to see you. Hello, Tolga, anime chick. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome in. Yes, Game Station. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Dana, hello. Dana, Charlie, K Blondie, Kyla. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> Velvet Sky, hello. <laughs> Anyways, are we ready? I think we are. Hello, Summer Sunshine. Welcome in. Yeah, so uh, this is the first time I'm playing this. So we're going to experience this together. Uh, if you really enjoy, add it to your wish list as well. Yeah, uh, it's coming out very soon. 2024, early, uh, between January and March. We'll have to see. Critter Cove, it is. Critter Cove, it is. Marshall, hello, Marshall. Good to see you as well. Hello, self-aware aware potato. How are you, Lauren? How are you doing, Lauren? I got the pronunciation of your name correct? Oh, very good. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we can actually make our character here very good very good oh wait a sec so you can actually ah oh, so you can make kind of like a well obviously you can see you can make a human but i'm also seeing that you can make like a like a cat or a fox you can be a cat or a fox you can be a critter now, this is this. Okay. Dude, what the heck is that? Is that a bearded dragon? Uh, is that a lizard? A gecko? That's a rat. You can be a TV. This reminds me of moving out. The game moving out. What is that? A dragon or something? That's a lizard or a snake. <laughs> That's a bird. Those are birds. That's Toucan Sam. Uh, the thing from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Davy Jones. <laughs> hey, you rock. Thank you for the 23 months, almost two full years of support. That's next month. Thank you very much, you rock. And for the five gifted memberships as well, that is very, very kind. Five people just grabbed a membership there. Thank you very, very much, uh, you rock. I hope you are doing well. Thank you very much. That was very kind to you indeed. I love this. I love that you can be not only a human, but you can, yeah, you can join in and be a, a critter. Something in Animal Crossing that you couldn't be, because obviously you couldn't be one of the animals in Animal Crossing. You could only be a human. Interesting take here. I probably will use Animal Crossing as a comparison on this. You can put, oh, nice. Whoa, whoa. Face paint and stuff like that too. So yeah, I probably will use it depending on how this goes. That's a that's a clown or a mime. I don't know. Holy moly! There is so much going on here. Oh, you can go like any direction you want with like uh, I guess color wise. You can be it, it's very um you could say very fantasy like yeah. Give me eyes. A little scary. <laughs> Dude, that look like anime eyes. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh, that looks like toon eyes, like a cartoon. Hello, who that dude? How's it going? Oh my lord. Um, that looks like yeah, that looks like cartoon eyes. I'm gonna play I'm gonna be very vanilla. I'm a vanilla kind of guy. Yeah, hello carbonated crouton. Welcome in. What is this? Oh, that's the eyebrows. Yeah, very well. Oh, look at those eyes. Oh, the star pupils, the heart pupils. Oh, you can really, whoa. You can really get into it. That looks like Pac-Man eyes. I love it. I love it. I love how 
Can I actually make this a little bit darker, yeah? There we go. Well, not... Uh, that's good, yeah? Accept it. I love the customization in this so far. Pupil size? <gasps> oh! I want the biggest pupils of all time. Uh, ears. Whoa. Uh... Those aren't earrings. Those are like straight up like gauges without the piercing inside. Holy moly. I don't even know what to call that. You can have like definitely elf ears though. Yeah, the customization in this is kind of wild. Give me some hair. <laughs> right? Okay. All right. Very well. well. Okay, that's cute. Yeah. Very good as well. Yeah. Hey, Yurok. Thank you for the super chat as well. Very much. Thank you for the five gifted memberships and the super chat and the 23 months. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Indeed. Oh, look at that hairstyle. That's a chibi hairstyle. Very good. I think I'm going to go. I'll go. I'll... <laughs> I'll go this way, yeah? That's for Danielle? Okay, very good. Thank you, Yurok. I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm gonna go this color. Now, I don't know if there's like... I doesn't seem like there is like a save... Like a like a color wheel that you can kind of just like pick from. You're gonna have to find the correct hue that you're looking for. And then I guess save your color here. Yeah? And then I want to do like that, maybe? And then instead of purple, maybe like... You could do blondish highlight. What do you think about that? Save that. I think that's kind of nice, yeah? Facial hair, a mustache. Very well. You can have horns? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Oh my goodness. Yeah, of course. I want to have a unicorn. <laughs> oh, I want to be a unicorn. Wow. Do we have antlers? My lord. Wow, 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 wow. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> I'm going to show up to this island and I don't know what the heck to expect anymore. I really don't. I really don't. Valentine, thank you for becoming a member as well. That was very kind to you. How are you doing, Valentine? Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you very much for that. Thank you for being generous and welcome to the community. And thanks for subscribing, Joy. Appreciate you, Joy. How you doing? Very interesting here. There's so much to see. So much to do and a lot of customizations and as far as like a lot of um a lot of mixtures of things that you can do here. That was only the face. Now oh. <laughs> you can have the full on cat. Yep, you can have the full on cat body if that's what you want. Or you can have the full on bird if that's what you want. Oh, very good. You can have a masculine uh, body type or a feminine body type as well. You can have uh, markings all over your body. You can be a... Oh, my lord. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's looking pretty good. You can be a skeleton, dude. Nice. Love the customization. Um, Can I go short? There we go. That's looking nice. Oh. oh you can have nail paint, dude. Oh, my lord. Look at those claws. Or you can have like possible gloves or robotic. Let's go. Can we go nails? Oh my lord, that is. Oh my lord. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no, no. Back, back. I didn't mean to do that. I did. I, I, I thought that was. Uh, uh oh. Uh, reset. There we go. <laughs> I thought that meant colors for, um, the nails, not the um, not the body. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Are we good there? This needs to be reset though. Okay. This. Reset. That. A different color. Accept. Reset. Okay, we'll just, we'll just, we'll leave it. We'll leave it as is. Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave it as is. <laughs> Eat. Um, hey, you can have painted toenails, I guess, if you want, or the sharp toenails. Oh my lord, or like some shoes. I think shoes. We'll 
I mean, I don't know if this is like robotic shoes or like, like, uh, like implants or something, but I'm going to go with shoes. I think shoes will be okay. We'll do shoes. I mean, we're walk we're going to be walking a bit. Yeah. What is going? Oh, you can have a tail. Oh, you can have a cat tail. This is straight. Like if you want be furry, you can be furry. Absolutely. That is a massive dragon tail. Holy moly. Maybe you can make dragon tails, dude. Yeah, you could probably be dragon tails. Absolutely. The heck is that? Is that a beaver? <laughs> beaver tail? Is that a bunny tail? That's a skunk. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is that, dude? Is that a peacock? <laughs> oh my lord. That ha no, that has to be some sort of bird. Yeah, that's a bird. Or you could be a TV. That's right. You could be a TV with a cable coming out of you. Oh my goodness gracious. And you have wings? You can have a shark fin? Oh, these are definitely fins, not wings. Well, I mean, I guess they could be wings. Yeah, there you go. There's the wings. You can have a turtle shell. Teenage Mutant Ninja. You can be a turtle? Can you be a turtle and be like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Yeah, I wonder. Anyways, um, I think this is our character with all those crazy customizations. We really didn't take use of it, but you absolutely can take use of it. So what's your name, Captain? I am Cans. I am. Yes. This is... Okay. If it is, I would be stuck in the character creation for hours. Hilarious. If it is a little too loud, let me get past this dialogue and I'll turn it down. Um, this is Anchor. Shiver me timbers. What an amazing and exciting journey that was. We'd be lucky to make it here in one, ple one piece. Yeah, that character creation was kind of something. So. Judging by this kind of has like the, uh, the, uh, it, it kind of feels like an Animal Crossing voice kind of going, no? Judging by me, ship sitting at the bottom of the harbor? Nah, a moment too soon either. Uh, guessing the sea be having to wait another day to claim or anchor. Why don't you so go speak with that fellow that hired us? Renard be his name. I'll be making sure the port office be in order. What happened out here? You don't remember the robot Kraken? The fleet of ghost pirates saving us from a raging whirlpool? I'm sorry, I, I, I don't remember that. Truly, you be a master sailor. The likes of an old anchor has never seen. You must have smacked your head harder than I thought to forget all that. I'd be lucky to ha have you watching me dorsal fin out there. If in it weren't for ye. <laughs> never you mind. We be here now, so I guess none of that matters anymore. You should focus on the job at hand. Bernard be waiting for ye, ye on... Sure, he'll probably have more your your to do. Holy crap. Just be watching your back around him, you hear? Renard be a sneaky one, he is. Alright, let me go ahead and like just slightly I can tell that their dialogue is probably a little bit disabled critter speak. Okay, if you don't like that da, 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 you know the Animal Crossing Dinkum chatter, you can turn it off. Um if you want, of course. Okay. Music seems like it's at a nice piece. Uh, dialogue is a little bit questionable. Uh, as far as the other sound effects, we'll have to see. But yeah, if I need to make more adjustments, I will. Anyways. Whoa! I see $100 in the top right-hand corner. Okay. A little excited. All right. So now we need to go talk to Renard. So we're here. Top right-hand corner, as you can see, is $100. It's 9 a.m. It's the first on a Monday. Um, we're in the world. We are now officially in Critter Cove. And let me mind you, this looks pretty cool. Uh, just like graphically, I'm looking at it. Just visually, I guess. Looking really nice. Looking very vibrant, if you ask me. Now, to find Renard, this is going to be a, a, a task at hand. Uh, so, Renard looks like to be some sort of like mafioso rat that we need to kind of get with. So, he might be in the town. Looks pretty cool. Requires an axe. I'm sure we'll get there. This is is this anchor spot. This must be anchor spot. Hello. Are you anchor? Right? Okay. Yeah If it wasn't if it isn't my favorite sailor captain cans <laughs> Have you come by to hear one of anchors borrowing tales of the sea? Uh, sure Be sure to check out the bulletin board every now and then you can often 
find jobs and important notices posted there. In case you didn't know, uh, the board can be conveniently located right in the middle of town square, right near the big tree. Okay, very well. I think the game's running smoothly right now. I do have it on V-Sync. I think I have it on... Yeah, I do have it on unlimited uh, V-Sync. Hello, Renard. Oh my goodness, look at him. <laughs> look at him. Ah, so I see you're finally arrived. Glad to see Anchor's cursed and it end you. Figured you had a 50-50 shot. Worth it in my books. And you're here now anyways, ain't you? I'm Renard. I'm mastermind behind this little venture. I also run the local junk shop. You need some extra salvage? Take a look. I might have what you need. And you must be cans. I can tell by looking at you that you're just what's needed. You're also the only one who answered the ad. Oh, okay, great. You've probably already noticed that the town is in less than ideal state. Of course, it's not. It were, we were, we wouldn't need you, would we? It's your job to fix up all night, fix it up all nice like, uh, make it a place people can be proud of. And if we make it a bit of coin along the way, who can blame us? Hmm, but first things first, we need to get your living arrangements sorted. Can't have you sleeping on the beach now, can we? It'd be undignified. Fortunately, Renard has you covered. Take this mostly official Criticove house deed and pin it to the door of any of these vacants you see. Don't matter which, your choice. Really? That's kind of cool. Once that's all done, nice and legal, like, you'll need to fix it up. But that shouldn't be an issue for a resourceful guy such as yourself. Oh, by the way, there are a couple of other folks who arrived just before you did. Might be a good idea to stop in and say hi, since you already be out looking for a house anyways. They each took to living on the beach, and one on the west and the other on the east. The island isn't that big. You should have no troubles finding them. I'll come by and talk to you again once you've gotten your house set up. There's much to be done. So wait, you're telling me I actually get to choose a vacant house? Huh. Okay. So make new friends, obviously. Let's see. Do we have something here? Yeah. Okay. So we have our inventory. You can change your outfits in this game. That's good. The official house steed. Oh, very well. I wonder if he just said that or if we can actually just choose anything. Meet Pokey. Oh, my Lord. Meet Sammy. Oh. Bernard has given me a deed so I can claim one of the many abandoned buildings around town. Oh. So, like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo. That is pretty cool. So, any of these abandoned buildings I can turn into my home? The choice is yours. Uh, that's really cool. I like that. I do. I like that a lot. Yeah. There. I like that. Giving us the choice. I kind of like that house. There. Wow. How cool. How cool. Okay. So this house kind of stands out to me a bit. Um, Let's see over here. This house is kind of cool. Kind of cornered off. Very good. And you have these houses. You can have like maybe a house over here in the corner. You know what? I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to. I think I will do the one that caught my eye. I love that. You could do that right there. You do one up here. No. Yeah. Oh, no fall damage. <laughs> I'm going to go and get the. Yeah, I'm going to do the, the house that caught my eye. This is going to be the house right here. This is it. In it. This is mine. And I get a mailbox, I think. <laughs> Donate, actually. <laughs> All right, there we go. Fixing my house. So after a crazy sea voyage, I finally arrived. So this is Critter Cove, huh? Certainly not how I imagine it. Very well. So I'm assuming we just have to put stuff in there. Uh, eight pieces of wood and five pieces of stone. And that will probably, like, fix up our new house. Very good. Okay, so now we need to go meet these others. Uh, let's go meet Pokey. Let's track Pokey. All right. So we have tr it tracked. Now, as far as like where, um, there isn't like a waypoint. It doesn't seem like we do have a compass though, but I don't see a very much a of a waypoint. So I'm sure we got to go find him ourselves. Wow. 
so far so good yeah so far so far so far so good i'm really enjoying the i mean i don't know to me giving the player a choice like that right off the beginning kind of i don't know it's exciting it makes it a little bit more personalized you think maybe unless that's just me kayla says hi i'm new i've been watching your channel for a week and i'm loving it loving all these types of games well how you doing kayla oh my god look at this oh my goodness Are these like all umbrellas good to see a welcome in kayla oh look at that that's beautiful okay all right, we got to go find these guys. Uh, Pokey and Sammy. Pokey the, the lizard, the bearded dragon, possibly. And then Sammy the cat. Mm. Are they out here on the, on, the, on the beach? This world seems pretty big. At least this island. I have a, like, okay. I'm starting to, like, kind of realize... We're going to be probably fixing up everything. Obviously, the, the you know, the, 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 the island is in such a state, right? We can go ahead. Oh, you can swim. We can go ahead and grab some sticks, I guess, while we're at it. Or our house. So sticks and stones. They break our bones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and grab this. Oh, blueberry. Or blushberry. Sorry, blushberry. No. Grab some of this. Oh, check the map. Is there a map? Yeah. Wow. We'll, we'll do that. Let's see. M. Okay. 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 So meet Pokey and Sammy in these red circles. Holy moly. Are these other islands you can go to? Oh, this is a big map. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they must be in this general area in the red circle. Pokey. And it's Pokey. Hello. What? Don't you know it's rude to butt your nose into someone else's business? Who are you anyways? Um, I'm Cans. Cans? Oh, that new sailor man. You're not what I expected. I was all, I always heard sailors were supposed to be tough and capable looking. I'm Pokey, by the way. And I'm just about the only adult on this whole island. Uh, uh, what? Just about the only? What does just about mean? <laughs> Now, please, don't let me keep you from a busy day of picking up every random piece of trash you see. Good day, Cans. Collect and deliver the required resources to the to the donation box. Okay, so I think we still need a little bit more. Yeah, we need, I think, a little bit more stone. Well, that's Pokey. Apparently, they are basic, basically the only uh, adult, which, again, I don't know what basically means. Drumsticks? Yo. Could you imagine growing, like, some KFC drumsticks on a plant outside your house? Oh, cool. That's very convenient. <laughs> very well. Uh, I, I will hoard. I will grab everything I possibly can. Don't uh, think I won't. Go. Doesn't seem like there is no sprint button either. Requires a shovel. Don't worry. We'll get there. I wonder if you could have actually had a house out here. That would have been really cool. There goes Pokey. Very well. Hey, Shari. How are you, Shari? Welcome in. Welcome in. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Am I going to play Moonstone Island? I No, I probably won't. No. I want a house on the beach. I know, right? A house on the beach looks so cool. Yeah, Moonstone Island, it just, it just wasn't a game that I was really interested in. Uh, okay, all I, some of this stuff looks like a chest, but it, it's not. Mm -mm -mm. I love the drumsticks, right? Okay. Donate. Can we do multiple? Okay, donate and donate. Completed. All right. House built. Scaffolding goes up. 120. I got to forget that there's times. Holy crap. Hey, Roxanne, how are you? Okay. That's my house, dude. Look at that. Wait, do I, do I have an out house outside? Bernard. I see you finally figured out your living situation. Capital. This is a very fine home, but they never come well furnished. Hmm. I've got you. You need a housewarming gift. Free of charge, of course. Let me guess. You're going to give me a bed? Let's call it a down payment on future services rendered. Now, let me see. Ah, here we go. Just the thing to make a house feel more homey. Capital. 
what was it a basic chair very well now let me see ah here we go uh, just the thing to make a house feel more homey capital what do i do with this you place it in your house of course this is your space and you can decorate it however you like oh all new homes also seem to come with two basic trunk they're very handy for storing your extra things and by some quirk of nature that i'm not qualified to explain their contents seem to be connected together connected how so if you put an item into one container you'll be able to access it from your container uh from any container on your own science magic just another life's unexplained mysteries so basically in what that means is if you have a chest i guess or a container chest storage unit inside your house and you have one outside your house they connect it's a universal uh inventory chest uh system so to speak yeah that's very helpful uh yeah is renard like tom nook this is a good possibility but it's incredibly useful you can move one or both of these trunks to any place that's convenient. I suggest moving one to the workshop area. Well, I should be going. My story isn't going to mind itself. But before I take my leave, here's a pamphlet that goes over the basics of decoration. Thank you. I'm sure you'll have to have a fine looking home in no time cans. A creative person such as yourself always does. So item placement, I select the item you want. Enter the decorate mode. Location in place, E. Okay, very well. So place the chair inside the house okay here we go this is our house we're about to see amber says i'm so finally caught you live i'm so i'm i'm excited that i caught you live amber yeah okay whoa 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 we have two chests we have a bed this is our home okay <laughs> okay let's place the chair down okay hang on a sec i gotta see uh okay okay no okay hang on a sec there we go <gasps> whoa yo what the heck <laughs> this is actually kind of cool i love this like it's like a first person like free roam camera where you can precisely put any furniture anywhere you want i kind of like that and look at it, it's not like a snap grid or anything so you can put anything at any degree angle you want Ooh, decoration in this game is going to be something else isn't it oh that's very very cool wow i like that very neat now can you interact with the furniture you can interact with the furniture i approve yeah i really like that placement um item placement really good and then i guess we can kind of like just start throwing stuff in three out of four uh, all right can I, how do you uh add item there we go uh, boom 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 we'll just start collecting stuff i guess decoration instructions don't need it anymore drumsticks i'll hold on to the um to the sticks and stones though all right wow that's pretty cool ow my lord my freaking hand i like that absolutely hey sai how you doing you pick it up when you when you have it replaced yeah you, you should be able to pick it back up no problem all right so talk to renard or we can go find, uh, what was the other? Uh, we can go find Sammy, the cat. I kind of want to go find Sammy first. Let's go find Sammy. I think Sammy was over here. Yeah, Sammy was over here. Let's go see Sammy. A clean workplace. That must be the workplace they're talking about right there. Yeah. Kimberly. Thank you for the super chat, Kimberly. How are you, Kimberly? Thank you. Very kind of you. Very sweet. Good to see you. <clears throat> is this controller supported yes this is controller supported how are you antoniette good to see you mm -hmm. have a good one valentine do take care do take care and uh yeah we have a great rest of your day and thank you for becoming a member i appreciate it thank you thank you so far this is looking very nice i agree it feels good too like play play wise it's feeling really good hmm oh hello you're new i'm sammy i'm pretty new here too my name's cans you have no idea how nice it is to meet you cans i was starting to think i was the only one dumb enough to get tricked into moving here <laughs> look how excited 
Damn he is. The brochure said a tropical paradise awaits. It didn't say anything about living in a ratty tent on a beach. I thought I'd be stuck on the, this beach forever, but you look like someone who's gotten it all figured out. Maybe we'll finally start seeing some progress, you know? I'm really glad I met you. If there is anything I can do to help, just let me know. Wow, okay, Sammy seems very helpful. Is this your home, Sammy? Is this, is this where you're at, Reed? I am not home right now, Sammy. <laughs> okay, Sammy. Very well. Uh, who the heck is that? Or what is that? Is that a thing? Hello? Hopper bottom. Like robots? Mm, 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 mm. Okay, all right copper bottom anybody ever seen the movie robots that's that that copper bottom. <laughs> very well let's go back to renard holy moly my lord hey moxie how are you moxie oh, hey cindia how are you cindia cat is so adorable i agree mm -hmm. hey gift how are you gift christian Welcome in. Mm -hmm. Hello. Ah, cans. So good of you to stop by. We've much, we've much to do, and it never seems like there are enough hours in the day. Now that's behind us. We must make plans to move forward. Capital. Idle paws make no coin, as the old saying goes. We need to start fixing up this town, but first I need you to find our missing handy bot, Copper Bottom. Way ahead of you. He was supposed to be picking up salvage for the workshop down at the beach, but he probably got himself wet again. I beg your pardon? I always tell him to avoid the water, see, but he just can't help himself. You're going to need this oil can when you find him. Just give him a squirt or two. I beg your pardon? That and he'll go, he'll be 100% again. All right, very well. I need to do what? Oh, and do me a huge favor and give him a hand when you get him unstuck. He's way behind on getting the workshop fixed. Now off you go. Uh, no dwaddling. You don't get a lot of dwaddling these days, do you? Uh, the sooner you find Copper Bottom, the sooner we'll have the functional workshop. Okay, so we obviously know where Copper Bottom's at. Very well. I must oil his Copper Bottom. Yeah. Very well. Hey, Phelan, how are you? Hmm. Mm. Hello, Ruthie. Do you need fill a need? That's right. Do you need fill a need? Love it. Uh, do I have to actually do this with my hands? I think so. Is that on my hotbar? No? Maybe I just talk to him. Mmm, mm, please, an, an, an oil can. Uh, Renard, hurry. Use oil can. Be a need, fill a need. Is there romance in this game? I don't think there is. Holy hell, do you look amazing, my good man. Happy mode activated. All joints appear to be functional again. This unit thanks the meta person of your for your assistance. It is customary to exchange information on meeting a new being. This unit is autonomous, autonomous worker in construction unit number 2347 PJF5. But since your meta brain does not perform at optimum uh, efficiency you may refer to this unit as copper bottom well i'm cans now that information has been exchanged this unit understands it is traditional to supply a gift to show gratitude for assistance since meta persons have soft fleshy hands inadequate for ripping metal apart this unit will supply cans with a blueprint for an artificial hand to supplement your design flaw use this blueprint to learn it then search the area and collect the required resources finally assemble resources to make a wrench cans will will find many uses for the wrench oh thank you copper bottom this unit is aware of how much meta persons enjoy written instructions and lists from which will now be supplied to cans please follow the instructions to increase your skill a database very well the reward phase of our interactions is complete this unit will now return to the workshop this unit looks forward to interacting with you again once it returns there hands assistance is required with other matters basics of crafting press k or that to open the crafting menu select the item to craft from the list and then have correct number of resources and craft very well so basically oh look at him here's my little blue my guy is so cute isn't he <laughs> i don't need the blueprint basic wrench new recipe learned awesome so we just press k oh a simple ring of stone surrounding a comforting fire can be used for warmth to cook or just sit around and tell spooky stories campfire 
a tent the sturdy canvas tent perfect for a temporary residence okay so you can make a tent if you're out and about because there are other islands it seems that you can actually uh, visit and stuff a basic wrench we're gonna need metal so we got to find some metal that's pretty metal is that metal rusty tank don't know if that's considered metal <laughs> i mean <laughs> if, oh wait there's metal right there all right so we have found metal we now will make the uh, basic wrench i want to see the clothing options and all the decoration options in this game because so far i'm really liking the decoration placement so we have a wrench nice all right, so now all we have to do is talk to Copper Bottom again. It's already almost 5 p.m. We are burning through the day today. Holy moly. I wonder what the evening and the nighttime will look like. Man, this place is like a wreck. This is... I'm, we're going to have to... I think the, the idea of fixing up this entire town is going to be fun. Hello, Copper Bottom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice wave. Greetings mode activated. Greetings again, Meta Person Cans. This unit is pleased to see you have not expired since our last interaction. Me too. This unit is experiencing difficulty. Someone has stacked those wooden barricades against the workshop in a most illogical fashion. This is preventing access to the building. This unit is unable to effect repairs on the workshop until these barricades have been removed. Query uh, mode activated. Perhaps Meta Person Cans could assist this unit in the removal of these obstacles. Meta persons have soft, fleshy hands that are ill-suited for chopping hard wooden structures. If you attempt to chop wood with fleshy hands, they will probably fall off. This unit will supply cans with knowledge on how to form an artificial chopping limb. Use this chopping tool to chop these barricades, blocking access to the workshop. X. Body spray. Warning mode activated. Use the tool responsibly and do not fall under the temptation to chop your fellow citizens. <laughs> This will void their warranty. <laughs> Once Kans has completed the barricade removal, this unit will be able to examine the workshop in closer detail. Okay. Very well. Copper Bottom has kind of a... Pause. Has a little bit of sense of humor and he doesn't even know it. Basic axe. I'm ready for it. Yeah. All right. So what do I need for this? Uh, Metal. Just more metal. All right. Is there any metal over here? Dismantle with the wrench. Yeah, of course. Oh, nice. Good animations, yeah? That's six metal. All right, very well. There we go. Oh, this is going to be like one of those satisfying... It's kind of like... What was that game we played? Uh, No Place Like Home, I think. It's going to be one of those like satisfying cleanup games in a way, huh? I hope I crafted the right thing. I don't think I did. I'm a fool, ain't I? I'm an absolute fool. Try again. <laughs> oh goodness gracious <sighs> well we got the axe very well so destroy the wooden barricade around the workshop with an axe no problem chop it up wonderful there we go mm -mm -mm. is it like everything or just the things on the inside or maybe things on the outside ice cream paint job you know there we go oh i just realized that we do have a stamina bar and a health bar in the top left hand corner now i wonder is there going to be like combat in this game why would we need a health bar i wonder huh, interesting explanation mode activated i need all these modes in my life a functional workshop is necessary to perform repairs on the rest of the town's structures most of the repairs to the workshop have been completed but additional resources are needed in order to finish construction request mode activated this unit requires your assistance in procuring the missing resources unfortunately some of the necessary resources are located under the uh shutter water oh he's a, yeah he's he's he doesn't like water your Metaskin is impervious to rust, so collecting what is needed should pose a little issue for you. Uh, unless you run out of air, then you will expire. This unit recommends you avoid that. A container will be provided to deposit the supplies needed to repair the workshop. Please place what supplies you find within that container. Once this unit has all supplies needed, construction will begin. This cans have any queries. Uh, where can I find these resources? To require resources or supplies to be easy to locate. Wood and stone can be picked up off the ground. Cans will most likely have to dive wrecks located just off the shore in order to find needed scrap iron. There is one such location nearby. This unit will indicate location on the meta person's map. Stick. Cargo crates. Nice. 
Farewell. <laughs> Mode activated. This interaction is now complete. Okay, cool. So we're going to have to do some diving underwater, yeah? I wonder how that's all going to go. 10 metal and 10 wood. I mean, do we have to? I mean, we have a bunch of metal right here, don't we? We have a bunch of metal right here, so yeah. Why not just get the metal that we have here? Whoops, I'm like doing all that right there. Dismantle? Oh, metal beam. I guess that's different. Researching trash can? Interesting. Researching barrels? Interesting. Okay. A lot of things going on here. There's a lot of pop-ups. Yeah. Kind of digging it. Let's see. I don't think I have enough, though. Can, I, can we donate what we have now already? Like, if I wanted to donate nine? Okay, you can. And then nine? Okay, so we just need one of each. I need one stick and one metal. Uh, who just ran by? Oh, it's Pokey. They're waving at me. Hello. Hey, Cairns. Uh, you're just who I was hoping to run into. I found something unusual on the beach and I immediately thought of you. It's a bottle, but I'm pretty sure that it's got something inside of it. And there's no way I'm touching that thing. Who knows where it's been? You're always scrounging around, touching everything with your dirty little hands. So I figured an old grimy bottle laying on the beach would be right up your alley. Follow me and I'll show you right where it is. And don't lollygag. I've better I've got better things to do with my day than wait for you. Like whatever. This is kind of cool, okay. Put the axe away, probably step one though. Facing running around with an axe. I bet you there's gonna be some sort of like, yeah, blueprint, right? In this bottle. Alright, let's see where Pokey wants to take us. Hey Nico, how's it going? <laughs> hey Grandma Miki, how are you? Good to see you. Yazzie says, I'm currently playing my time in Porsche. I bought Sandrock 2, but haven't started yet. Why? And I watching this temptation. How are you doing, Yazzie? Oh. Oh. The treasure map. Dig near X. Oh. Okay. Wow. This is a genuine treasure map. I bet if you follow it, you'll find something cool. That's how treasure maps work, you know. You just find where the X marks the spot and dig. Super simple. Like, so simple, even you can do it. You're going to need something to dig with, though. Don't look at me. Do I look like I'm made of shovels or something? Go try Anchor. There's probably no one on this whole island who's dug up more treasure than that old shark. I bet he's got a trunk full of shovels you can use. Oh, I did my good deed for the day. Time for me to leave you to your rooting around in the dirt. Later, chumpers. Okay, so let's go get a shovel from Anchor. I think Anchor's this way. Yeah, Anchor's this way. Nice. Oki is so rude, friendly, it's hilarious. True. <laughs> ah! Anchor's is not open. I guess it is 6.30. I guess we'll talk to Anchor's tomorrow. Unless we can talk to Anchor's right now. He's not on... He's not on duty. Hello? Ahoy there, Captain Cans. What can old Anchor be doing for you? I found a treasure map. A treasure map you be saying? Best be handling it over, handling, or sorry, handing it over before old anchor goes into a feeding frenzy and tears you to shreds. Jesus. Ha ha ha. That'd just be a little shark pirate humor for you. I, okay. Anchor's lad shredding days are long past. So you found yourself a treasure map, did you? Uh, anchor knows a thing or two about treasure maps. Just find where X marks the spot and dig it up. All simple like. I need a shovel though. Ah, so you found a treasure map and got nothing to dig with, yeah? Anchor has found himself in that very situation more times than teeth in me own head. Fortunately for you, Anchor just so happens to be an expert on making new shovels out of the bits and bombs you can find all over. Here, let me share my shovel building knowledge with you. After all, we can't have you on your hands and knees scooping out sand in a desperate attempt to get a treasure. It'd be undignified. Blueprint. Toss it. Now that'd be taken care of. Good luck to you. Uh, I hope you find something nice and lacking any pirate curses. Oh, gosh. Yeet. There you go. <laughs> All right. Basic shovel we've got now. Hooray! Now, how do you make a basic shovel? You make it with metal and sticks. Metal and sticks. You get sticks from this. No, you do you okay you get wood from this all right yeah yeah okay it's wood planks and sticks got it very good very good gather so i kind of want to go back to uh the shipwreck in a way yeah i want to go back to the shipwreck i mean it is kind of i mean i pr maybe i should turn in for the night 
maybe get some resources then turn in it is going to get dark here soon and i think deep sea diving underwater in the middle of the night is probably not the best idea one thing i really like about this game is that the game automatically chooses or picks the um the tool that you need and so you don't have to like cycle through or anything you just kind of walk up to it and then click and then boom it happens it has the right tool out and everything very nice very convenient what is going on over here oh cool i'm really really like i said this game is going to want me to just like repair everything the entire town and i want to know what these different islands are yeah mm -mm 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 -mm. Anchor speaks of himself in third person. He does. <clears throat> totally random, but do you have any spookyish games that you're wanting to play in October? Uh, actually, I do. There's a brand new game coming out um, that is coming out in October. And it's kind of exciting because it's a very different take very different take so there's a new game coming out it's a farming game and it's like any other farming game it's like a stardew valley kind of s game however it's a little bit different it's a stardew valley horror like game but yes i do have at least one in mind and i'm interested they said they wanted to go with a cozy farming horror game so i'm interested and I'm interested to check that out for October. Oh, this Sammy wants to talk to us. Hang on, Sammy. I'm sorry. I'm kind of ignoring you. I just want to get some metal real quick, Sammy. Oh, I have no stamina. Holy whiskers. You're looking completely knackered, Cans. You've been working so hard for all of us that you've forgotten to take care of yourself. Maybe you should get yourself something to eat and some rest. I don't know about you, but I always feel better if I get myself some nice grilled meat. It's also so simple to make. The first thing I do is plop down a campfire. Then I just toss in a drumstick stock and wait for it to roast up nicely. Hmm. Just thinking about it is making my mouth water. But if grilled meat isn't your thing, you can try putting anything you want into it. The fun thing about cooking is just fit, trying to figure out new recipes. After eating something, you should get some sleep. Uh, you've a bed. You've you have a bed in your home for a reason. Cans use it. Next time I see you, I hope you aren't looking so ragged. You've got to take care, take better care of yourself, Cans. Very well, thank you for that, uh, Mr. or Mrs. or you, Sammy. <laughs> All right, let's head back to bed then, or let's head to bed. I think I have enough for a shovel. I do. Craft the shovel real quick. Mm -hmm. No, not haunted chocolate here. No, I don't think that game that game has a release date yet. Harbu Valley. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Is it the one where you are a vampire? I have no idea. I'm not sure what the one with the vampire is. Uh, no, we'll sleep until morning. Hello, Katie. Hello, Captain. What's going on? <laughs> I like games that try something different. Yeah, there's actually two games that, that are coming out. There's a... Um, there's that one I mentioned, and then there's also another first-person farming life game with a nice uh, horror twist to it, too, as well. That's coming out very soon as well. I think we're ready to do this, yeah? Oh. Oh. I'm for it, and I'm for, like, you know, taking the farming genre and kind of putting it into different genres. I'm, I'm curious to see, like, how things work and all that and see how they, uh, how, if they, if they're good or if they're not you know there we go copper bottom's going for it go for it copper bottom all right i'm gonna go find the treasure now find the buried treasure graveyard keeper no 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 it's a new game coming out new game coming out in october pumpkin panic it is not pumpkin panic i don't know what that is hey kimberly how are you kimberly I think it was over here, right? Yeah, right over here. Somewhere, maybe. Oh, wait, maybe it's on the beach. Moonlight Peaks? No, not Moonlight Peaks. Mm. Harvest Island. Yes, Harvest Island. That's it, right there. There you go. Learn. 
the heck is this? This is a blueprint. Recipe learned furniture work table. Oh, furniture work table. Oh, very good. Oh, that's so cool. Dig. Mm -hmm. Um, Harvest Island is it. And then there's another game coming out too. Uh, I forgot, or maybe it's already out. I can't remember if it's out or if it's coming out. But I got word of it yesterday or this morning. I can't remember. Let's see. Is this directly where I'm at? It is in this general location. I don't think it would be up. Mm. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I wonder what, if it would actually have an X on it or if it's going to be over here. Hello? No? <laughs> would the treasure... <laughs> would the treasure have, uh, have an X? I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if I can take a look at the treasure map again. I'll, I'll take a look at the treasure map again. No? I do want to get more sticks, though. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> can I dig in any spot? Uh, no, can't dig in any spot. I don't think. Maybe. Can we dig in any spot? Or do you have to wait for a prompt? No, it looks like you can. Okay. All right. So if you can dig in any spot, let's go over here and try to dig just around in this area. Yeah. Let's do it. Mm -mm. And jazz of frail jazz 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 of full jazz of full hello yeah yeah hey fane gone too far is the new harvest moon going to be a 50 dollar game yeah i think so probably I don't know the price on it, but yeah, I would, I would, I would expect it to be a $50 game. This is a green patch. Mm -hmm. Further next to the bit of the beach. Okay. Oh, there we go. Got it. That's a tough thing right there. You just kind of keep digging. What did we get? A cleaned workplace? Wait a sec. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cooking station. All right, very good. I wonder if we can put this inside the house. Hooray, we did it. Okay. Let's see. Um, A clean workplace. The workshop area is littered with trash. I better clean it up before to make sure. Plenty of room. And maybe I could put some of the salvage to good use. Very good. Oh, hello, Sammy. Sammy's cool, huh? I like Sammy. All right, let's go back to the workshop. I like this so far. When does it come out? It comes out uh, in 2024, but there is going to be a beta opening, I think, in the next four days or so. Mm hmm. Which also, I, I'll, I said it in the beginning of the stream, but I will say it again. Um, if you are a member of the channel, make sure to join the Discord. Link is in the description below. Uh, make sure to connect your YouTube account to uh, the dis to your Discord account if you are a member. And then make sure you can access the members chat, members meetup in the Discord. At the end of the stream, I will be giving away nine keys so that you can play this game today. Nine keys, it will be first come, first serve. And I will be posting them in that chat. Hello, Copper Bottom. Exclamation mode activated. This unit is very pleased to announce it has completed repairs in the workshop. Please experience patience while this unit removes and then the scaffolding and opens the workshop for meta person use. Farewell, activated mode. Uh, this unit offers thanks for the assistance in the completion of this task. Very good. <laughs> Wow, look at this. Oh, he did a really good job. 
How cool. Oh, it looks great in here, Copper Bottom. This looks awesome. <clears throat> this is incredible. Hey, Savvy Tech, how's it going? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Go. Are you joined the Discord? Discord link is in the description below. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, do you, how do you redeem the codes? If you if you get it, never done something like this. Uh, you go to Steam, open up your launcher in the top left hand corner uh, of your launcher in Steam. There should be something called uh, games. Click games, and then there should be a thing called redeem. Yeah. And then that's where you would redeem the code. I know the sounds in this game sounds so good. And big shout out to Tiny Build. Tiny Build gave me uh, nine extra keys to give away. So just so you can have early access to the beta. If you don't get it early access, like like now, don't worry. Uh, it will open up more uh, in about four days. I think on the 26-ish. I think they have something to tell me. Can super glad I ran into you. I was thinking maybe you could help out with a little lighting problem the town has. It gets really dark here at night, and I hate for anyone to stub their toe because they can't see. So I figured, what if we got some get some new street lights installed? Yeah, I would do that. What do we need? Hmm. My grandpappy always said that if you want to know how something is made, you should take it apart. He destroyed so many things. I bet if you took a wrench to the broken street lights around town, you could eventually figure out how to build one. You can probably do that with all sorts of things out there in the world. Once you've unlocked the secret to making street lights, you'll be able to craft a new one out of not, out of things you find here and there. Then it's just a matter of picking a good spot and bing, bang, boom, the town will have new lights. Oh, it's going to be so nice to have some light when it's dark again, when it gets dark again. That way, Pokey won't be able to jump out of the shadows and scare me anymore. Oh, that's so sad. Copper bottom. Congratulations, mode activated. Now that the workshop is functioning, it will be necessary to outfit with all of the crafting stations needed to process raw materials into usable materials. Fortunately, an engineer work table comes standard in all auto not auto nominate. Oh my frick. Hang on, I'll get there. I'll get there. Autonomous? Autonom auto Frick! Auto um, autonomous, 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 auto non. <laughs> you want to say auto? <laughs> I don't know why. Built workshops and comes preloaded with several important blueprints. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with its operation. Information mode activated. The first task that needs to be accomplished in order to have a fully functioning workshop is to craft a place in Simple Forge. The Simple Forge is used to refine raw materials into more usable forms. These refined metals will be important for construction of other craft stations and growth of the town. Unfortunately, the engineer work table has all the information necessary for the construction of a simple forge. This unit believes that meta person cans will have no trouble completing the assignment. The only difficulty this unit can detect is the finding the, re the required furnace. Cans will need complete will need to complete the blueprint. It is suggested that cans search shipwrecks near the coast of Crater Cove. Old wrecks often use furnaces as part of their propulsion systems this unit summarizes that you will be able to find what is needed by searching those areas for salvage farewell this unit will be waiting for cans to complete this task all right very well there's that's a big task yeah now again i don't know if i can actually like um i don't know if i can actually put campfires inside of my house but i guess that's like a cooking station i guess but we can try uh oh pokey are you okay you're all right pokey because i'm gonna need to get some food 100 percent hey alexander how are you good to see you oh. clean this out still need to clean all this area dun, 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 dun. Mm. Small crate. Oh, very well. Wait a sec. Did I actually get that? That was a new recipe, yeah? A new recipe? Nice. <laughs> uh, 
There we go. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Okay. I, 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 they say clean workplace. I don't know if it's like the entire area or not, but I guess it's like, it's worth a try. But I want to put the drumsticks on the, uh, on the, on the cooking pot too, or the, the thing thing, the cooking. Uh, yeah. L you know what? Let's try that. Let's make it, build it, send it. I mean, we could do a campfire, really. You know what? Let's do a campfire. We do have some chicken on us, some drumsticks on us. Let's kind of like tinker around with this. Let's see how this works. Okay, good job. Now with the campfire, can I place this virtually anywhere? Oh, even out here, it's the same. Add fuel. <gasps> it's grilling time. There we go. Start cooking. Experiment. You can experiment. Cook. This is probably how you learn uh, cooking recipes, yeah? Cook grilled meat. Hopefully that's working. Pick up grilled meat. Recipe learned. Grilled meat. Nice. Cool. Nice. Now lay down to some sleep. Very well. Hey, Becky Smith, you're stopping in to say hi. Too busy to watch the live. My 60th birthday was yesterday. Well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Becky. Absolutely. Hope you had a good birthday. Yeah. Hope you had a wonderful birthday. If you click on the recipe, it cooks immediately. Oh, thank you. Right? Wait a sec. Grilled meat. Cook. No? Wait a sec. Is it still put it there? Three. Whoa. Ah, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. DIY to surf. Thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Shout out to you. Thank you for the generosity and support. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So this is done. Now, can I actually get rid of it? Let's see. If I don't want it there anymore, is it possible to remove it? The grass cutter engine? What the heck do I... <laughs> Here we go. Maybe not. Maybe this will go out eventually. Okay, we got to just hope it goes out eventually. Okay, seven. Oh. Just eight. Okay, yeah. Eat the grilled meat. Yeah. Will this game be released on Switch? I do not know. Uh, but early access, probably not. Full release, maybe. Maybe. But I do not know the, that answer. Here we go. Use a bed, which we will do eventually. I want to look at this. Simple cutter, simple forge, stone the kin. Furniture workshop or work table, sorry. Metal pipe, blade, cooking station. There it is. A tap, metal pipe, filter. Oh my gosh, I wonder what I'm going to use all this stuff for. I'm very interested. I bet you this stuff kind of breaks down other things, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure the game will, will teach us eventually. Okay. Um, let's go here. Light up. So how do we make these? Setting up a workshop. Copper bottom has completed. Okay. Workshop already comes equipped with most of the recipes and an engineer work table that I'll need to craft. Place a simple forge. Oh, crap. Okay. So they want us to make a forge. I need everything. I need a furnace. And then a campfire to make this. Okay. A furnace. Where to get a furnace? I'm assuming something furnace. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now can I actually send it? Get up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to like actually pick things up if you can. Oh, you press and hold E. Thank you. Appreciate you. That was very kind of you. Thank you, Moxie. And then furnace, like I said, I guess I'll find a furnace. Yeah. 
I guess like if I went to the uh, dive, right? If I went diving to that to that thing, yeah, in the ocean, maybe that's where a furnace could be. I could do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Holy crap. This looks like Atlantis. It's got a rusty tank. Whoa. Whoa. Holy moly. This is cool. I love how the music changes too. Metal beam, simple motor now. Oh, very good. Okay, watch out for your oxygen though. <gasps> That's the furnace right there, right? Okay, we have a furnace. We have chains. We need to go back up. Go up. Very good. Yeah, this is awesome. Have you heard of hammer helm? Uh, yeah, I have heard of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I love this. This is really, really cool. So far, one of my favorite parts right here. I wonder if you can craft an oxygen tank. Yeah, I wonder if you can get like uh, upgraded um, water stuff. Yeah, you can do light up the town now, probably with all these like, I guess with the forge coming in soon. Back in. This is really cool. Oh, a rusty anchor. Oh, that pot we need, the cook pot we need for the uh, stove. Very good. Probably need that to some degree. Maybe a bucket. Yep. Go up, go up. The water looks really neat too. That's why I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm, I'm very, very interested in the other islands. I want to know what's over there. Now, there is like a little bit of a area like a cove area or something rather right in front of the ship kind of there we go what was that metal oh hello what time is it almost three good go oh. here we go this is what i'm talking about like this little area what is this what are those are those anything but like, what is this? Whoa. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Please be treasure. Please be treasure. Hang on a second. Let me fix this up real quick. I don't know what happened to my second, um, my second, uh, wrench, but, <gasps> oh, there's a thing up there, a recipe, yes, or something, hello, ah, what was it, fabricator, okay, we got a fabricator, let's go, Pick up the stone, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was probably like the big deal, yeah? I doubt there's like any like hidden treasure here, no? Probably not. That the, that right there was probably what we needed, that fabricator. Oh, cool. I love that. Hey, Grammy Q, how are you doing? Are those like little dragons, too? Okay, let's go make this... um. To make this forge yeah so much many places to explore i'm super excited for this thanks cans for this thank you for watching appreciate that yeah and like i like i said again this is the only island we've been to there's like these islands over here there's this island there's this island like this there's whatever the heck's going on right there 
there's this going on right here this map is kind of massive if you ask me there's this going on over here 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 <laughs> um and we're just right here <laughs> so uh yeah kind of crazy all right let's see should be able to craft that now let's do it temple forge okay now we place it down simple forge place it down and here would be nice we'll just place it right here right next to the uh, work table here we go okay top or bottom congratulations mode this unit has detected that Kans has completed the task of placing a simple forge in the workshop area well done we must now test to see if the simple forge is functioning correctly please proceed to use the machine to create one metal bar it takes a short period of time to refine the raw materials into refined ones so Kans will need to initiate a patience protocol while waiting for it to be completed please let this unit know when the testing of the simple forge is complete okay metal into metal bars then me 22 seconds send it very good nice little timer there you can have a tap Dude, what is th this is gonna have like a lot of i wonder if there's gonna be a lot of complexity in this game hey watch out copper bottom here we go oh copper bottom here we go Congratulations mode. It appears the simple forge is operating within acceptable parameters. We must now work on the next crafting machine. Unfortunately, the blueprint for the fabricator is missing from the engineer work tables uh, data set. Therefore, it will be up to Kans to discover the missing information. Exclamation expl explanation mode. This unit was attempting to record a was attempting to record a diagram in an underwater cave when Kans found it rusted on the shore a while back. Unfortunately, this unit did not factor the, that water is wretched and evil. Wretched and evil. Exposure to its, uh, to it prohibits this unit from performing basic functions. It also voids this unit's warranty. This unit believes that the diagram contains a the missing instructions on how to construct a fabricator. A fabricator is vital for a functioning workshop. Without one, it will not be possible to repair any of the other structures in town. Uh, this unit understands the meta persons come with equipped with a waterproof covering called skin please swim under the water and into the cave entrance located towards the rear of the sunken vessel this unit believes that your meat skin will protect cans from the dangerous rusting effects of water however this unit recommends that you do not run out of oxygen if you do you will perish it is advisable that you do not do that once cans has recovered the missing fabricator blueprint craft and place it within the workshop area goodbye which we've already done so yeah no problem there uh let's craft it now what do we need for wait a sec sorry what do we need for this we're gonna need a simple motor which we can do run it up let's roll yeah hey dakota how are you this game is cute it is it is absolutely i know the mu the mustache wrench <laughs> i know so funny all right fabricator in going let's do it nice size map it is isn't it crinkle okay here we go uh fabricator i love that we can place these anywhere we want can i place it on the wall <laughs> can i have a fabricator on the wall yeah place it uh we'll place it maybe like right here perfect okay top or bottom this unit is very pleased to see that Cairns did not rust or drown in the gathering of the fabricator knowledge. Now that this workshop has a functioning fabricator, it is time to begin construction on a simple cutter. Uh, this should be a straightforward task, with the only difficulty being in the location of a treadmill. Fortunately, this unit is aware of the location of one, but it is under evil water. A cluster of sunken cargo containers is located near the main Critter Cove dock. This unit believes that Cairns will find what is needed inside one of these containers. Farewell. Once Cairns has completed the task of placing a simple cutter, please return to this unit for more instructions easy enough but i don't have a lot of energy so it's 5 30 so i might just kind of hold out see if i can maybe make myself 
lights instead i don't know where i guess furniture workshop would be from that blade can i make a blade through here no i really don't know how i would make a blade maybe that's to like be determined later maybe the cutter maybe a cutter does that yeah maybe not <laughs> maybe not i kind of want to make a, a cooking station i kind of do uh you know what let's make a cooking station yeah, let's do that. So let's craft a campfire. Yeah. It's advisable you do not do that. Goodbye. <laughs> cooking station. There we are. And I'll put the cooking station in here. Now we'll, ha we'll have like a permanent set here. Okay. Wonderful. Um, Here. There. And we'll place it like right here. Oh. <gasps> Can't place it in here? Okay, can we place it outside? We'll place it outside then. There we go. Cool. All right. Um, I mean, I guess we could kind of like, well, all right, I'll eat a little bit of food and I'll walk around and I'll, I'll swim around. We haven't really seen what it's like at night anyways. See if we could find these uh, little cargos here. They sit at the main dock. Dock's pretty big. I'm assuming maybe where that crane is. And we're looking for crates, yo. Okay, there's a little bit of something going on over here. Let's check it out. Whoa, look at that thing. Oh, it's a turtle. Wow. Look at him. Good for you. <laughs> Good. Oh, there's the containers right there. Good for you. Wow. How cool is that? Okay, there's the treadmills right there. Go. Red mill. A fish. The 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 ocean life looks wonderful. That up. A little bit of brick action. Oh, there's another treadmill right here. This is gonna be for the cutter, isn't it? I have a feeling. Go back up for some air. Blazes says, I recently found your channel and I've been playing the demo of Paleo Pines and now I have a new one I want to try. Oh, very good. Very good. Good to see you, Blazin. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh, oh. Dismantled this, like, dumbbell, yeah? Or something, rather. <laughs> what is this? Maybe nothing? Okay, continue. Go, 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 go. Get more air. Okay, come back down. It does kind of, it, it looks like raft, looks like a underwater, the, the vibrant underwater look, looks like a subnautica, right? No? We've got, I think, the really like the important parts. Oh, hang on a sec. Let me get some of that, yeah? Yep. This, I think, gives us motor and maybe an oil too. Broken motor. Go, go, go. There we go. Okay. As the sun sets. What time is it? Almost 8 o'clock? Almost 8 o'clock and it's still really sunny outside. Nice. You sold the treadmill. Didn't know I needed it. And it took me forever to find a new another one. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, God. That's so sad. All right, let's see what this simple cutter. Let, let me look at the simple cutter. All right, here we go. I'm going to need a rubber tire, a blade, and a simple motor. I can make a simple motor. Simple motor. Sorry. So we'll do that. Simple motor done. And then as far as tires, I'm going to need to probably find that. And then this is the fabricator. Okay, fabricator, the blade. Holy crap. Yeah, this is definitely it. Rubber tube, no thank you. Blade, craft that. One, thank you. And then, yeah, I guess find a, find a tire and we're good to go. Cool. That's why I'm a hoarder in these games. 
Because if I sell something, I know I'm going to need it again. I guess we can kind of like think about going to bed. Um, I would like to do... I would like to figure out how to do... Oh my goodness! What is this? Hello. 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 Favorite colors? Their happiness? Their hearts? Favorite color blue? Favorite color yellow? Blue? Red? Red? Very well. Inventory full? Yeah, probably. We'll come back for the blade. The machines, I love the animation still. Right, let's go in here. I think I definitely need to try this game. It looks right up my street. I'm a hoarder to to in games and in real life. <laughs> right, let's see what we can at least drop for now. We can drop this stuff. We don't need fibers. We I don't want to drop the mechanical stuff, even though I guess I could take a trunk and put it put one in the um in the workshop, right? I guess I could do that. I definitely could. Maybe that's what I'll do. I have a bathtub. What the heck am I going to do with a bathtub? Um. Okay, let's see here. Give me this. It must be empty before. Okay, give me this. Yeah, okay. We'll take this trunk, the workshop. Let's yeah, let's do it right now. Because I want to see what this game looks like at night. I like that they use the USD in this island. <laughs> they use USD for some reason. Ah, yeah. Once I get lights up in the village, it should be good. Yeah. Uh, chest me. Oh, nice little light turned on. So from here, I should be able to access. Yeah, so the universal chest. So even though I have all my items inside the chest at home, you can still grab from that chest. So it's a universal chest. So that's really cool about this game. So I really like that. In this chest, we're going to put all like the. Uh, maybe all like the, the mechanical stuff later. All the mechanical components. Very cool. Good job, game. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hey, Colin, how are you? Good to see you. Welcome in, Colin. Yeah, lots of space for the trunk. Absolutely. There's a lot of junk in the trunk. Yeah. How we do things around here, baby. Yeah. All right. So now I lay me down to sleep complete. Okay, good. All this stuff is good. Place the cutter, which we're looking for uh, tires. Light up the town. Uh, the workshop area is littered with trash. I better clean it up and maybe I can put some of the salvage to good use. It seems pretty clean, but I guess it's not clean, not clean yet. And we got to get some tires. Got to get some rubber tires somehow, some way, some form. There's anchor. Oh, look at that anchor actually goes into a shop and he's going to be opening it up, opening up soon. You can see his pipe coming through the, <laughs> coming through the shutters very well. Need, we need rubber tires. Oh, you can zoom in and zoom out with your camera. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Oh, you can like zoom like really far in. Nice. Good, good, good. Giving the uh, player the uh, like uh, ability to kind of like have their own like distance from their character is nice. Some people really like the over the shoulder look. Some people really like the far away look. I like it. We really haven't like actually walked around the entire island yet either. Tires where you found the treadmill. Good shout. Ooh, this looks like a mayor's house. There is no fall damage in this game either. Ooh. Hello. 
Oh, there's sunflowers here. Nice. Very cool. Now, this game does have dates. Um, it is like technically Wednesday on a third. Now, I wonder what the... Whoa. I wonder what the significance of a date is in this game. If there will be like a calendar. If there will be like an event or something rather. Because if there is no significant, then why have dates, right? Hello, pink wings. How are you? All right, let's see. Let's see. We're looking for tires. Oh, we got a tire. We got a tire. Is there just one? Just one tire? Oh, a lot going on in there. Okay, hang on. Let me get some air. A lot going on right there. Okay, here we go. In we go. get some of this ah it's a little claustrophobic i'll be real with you there we go i also like the fact that when you do destroy things you learn about them and then later on you can actually um like learn a blueprint of them in craft okay there's also something over here i saw good like yeah that what is that Wrapped cargo. I wonder what you can do with wrapped cargo. Is it like a a, a, a surprise? <laughs> Is it a surprise? At least we got the tire that we need. Let's head back. Yeah, no fall damage, but definitely face or a face plant. <laughs> you could jump really high out of the water. Holy moly. Nice. Yeah, if you are enjoying this, make sure to hit the like button. You know, if you want to see this game come to the channel when it, when it does release in early access, because it will release in early access, make sure to smash that like button. Smash it. Smash it or punch it. Either or. Uh, yes, you would like to have a simple cutter. Yeah. All right. So let me grab the blade real quick. Okay. Now let's do the cutter. Here we go. There you go, copper bottom. <laughs> Look how... All right, very good. Okay. Now we have to place it down. I don't know where I, where I want to place it, though. Red mill? No, simple cutter. Um, I guess we'll put it next to the fabricator, I guess. For now, we can move it later. Here we go. Well, the simple cutter appears to be functioning correctly. This unit believes that a good job is appropriate. The workshop is now almost fully functional. The only station that is still needed is a stone kin uh, to make breaks, bricks in. Please craft and place one so that we can begin brick production. When cans is complete, please inform this unit. Okay, what do we need for this? A trash can lid and a campfire. Well, we have a trash can lid. I'm pretty sure in here. Yeah, so we have a trash can lid. All we need to do is make a campfire and we're ready to go. The like button is spanked rather than punched. I like that too. Okay. Fabricator. No, no, no. Stone can. There we go. I want to see the outfits in this game too. Have I been up the stairs? I have. It's basically an open loft here where you can place more stuff. Okay, um, let's see, let's see. There it is. Place it. Where am I going to place this bad boy? Oh my lord. I'll place it over here. This is a biggie. Awesome. What do you think about that, Copper Bottom? This unit sees that Cans has completed their t task of creating a stone kin and finishing the task of getting this workshop fully operational. Now with a fully operational workshop, we are prepared to begin repairs on the structures in town. Unfortunately, this unit lacks the data on how these meta person structures function. This unit requests Cans speak with Renard and see how he wishes to remedy this situation. Once the data is found on these those buildings, please return to me again. Farewell. This unit found working with Cans most efficient. Oh, thank you, Copper Bottom. Appreciate it. Ah, there you are, Renard. Hello. 
Would you look at that? You managed to save Copper Bottom and get the workshop operational. I knew I was right to put my faith in you, Capital. I don't think anyone could have done a better job, and you deserve a reward. I've just the thing that I've just I have just the thing that someone new to town like yourself might need. What is that? Blender's bar poster? I beg your pardon? I already took the liberty of contacting the Caring Community Commission. An official representative is on their way as we speak. So it's a good thing you managed to get this all finished before their arrival. They would have been most perturbed to have arrived and found us not ready for them. When they get here, I'd like you to speak with them. You've, you've, you have such a fine way with people, and I'm sure you are more than equipped to answer my question or any questions they might have. Wait, what? A representative from the Karen Community Commission is coming here. An inspector. Checkmark, I believe, is their name. <laughs> okay. Do try to keep up. Karen Community Commission? The CCC is the organization that literally puts towns on maps. Without their support, a town will be just be left floundering. Well, mapless and such. It's important that we do everything they ask in order to get our town to at least rank one. And eventually even higher, I dare say. Vital even. Uh, I've every faith that you'll do a spectacular job. Uh, this is exciting. Talk to Inspector Checkmark. Uh... Oh my goodness, there he is. Okay. Inspector Checkmark. Look at him, how cute. Oh, I wanted to see his face, not the damn this. Hello there, I'm Inspector Checkmark. I take it you are cans. Bernard told me to speak to you about getting your town ranking set up. Town ranking? Uh, yeah, I assumed Bernard must have told you, but perhaps it slipped his mind. I represent the Caring Community Commission. It's our job to travel around these backwater towns and make sure they're up to our current standards before we literally add them to travel maps. I just wouldn't do to add a new town to the map only to discover that it didn't have a place to eat or adequate entertainment options. Not at all. It also supplied these growing communities with guidelines and blueprints on how best to grow their towns. When a town meets our standards, we increase that town's ranking. According to the information we have on file and from my own inspection, I would say you're just getting started. Your town has a functioning workshop. Also, there appears to be enough citizens currently, and it, is, it seems everyone is sufficiently happy at the moment. But you're lacking any shops to speak of. Based on that, I'm going to assign your town of a rank of zero. In order to increase your town's rank, you'll need to get a few of these abandoned shops repaired and operational. Fortunately, the CCC is able to offer some assistance in the area. The CCC will supply you with a couple of blueprints of shops that you're handy bot will be able to use to enact repairs if you prove yourself a growing town we can supply you with more as you rank up let me see now uh here we are one of the clothing shops and another for a cafe let's go that should be enough to get you started i agree yeah Whew. okay well i believe that just about covers everything when you're ready, I'll return and make another inspection and see if your town qualifies for town rank one. Good luck, Cans. I look forward to seeing you again. I look forward to seeing you too as well. Yeah. Cans' character be looking thick. I, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I, I, I did that on purpose. That, that is definitely me. <laughs> okay. Uh. Wow, what a sudden transition of weather. Are we sure? What the heck just happened? All right. <laughs> what the heck? Copper bottom. Hello, Kansas unit offers you greetings as a way of maintaining social constructs. I have something for you. This unit thanks Cans for supplying it with the needed blueprints for the clothing shop and cafe repairs. With this data, this unit will be will be get will begging to survey. Wait, this unit will be will this unit will begging to survey. Is that supposed to say begin, or is it supposed to say begging? This unit will. Begin to survey or begging to survey the structures to determine what materials will be needed to initiate repairs. The survey of a structure will take some time, so meta person must experience patience while this unit works. The unit does not see any local structure to start with, so 
we'll leave cans we'll leave the decision to cans which they will like to which unit to start surveying first holy crap um hit me with the clothing shop first this unit agrees that this is a good choice due to the lack of hard metal shell that the persons need to cover their soft vulnerable fleshy bits once <laughs> once this unit has completed gathering the data on the structure please speak to it again to get full a uh, full report the rain is nice i don't like the lightning It doesn't make any sense and it's a little like distracting i like the rain the sound of the rain sounds iffy but the lightning is just like way too much like what is happening <laughs> i don't know dude uh wait for survey of clothing shop to be completed copper bottom will wave me down when it's ready very well uh is it 10 in the morning oh my lord i thought it was like night time Okay, so we'll wait for that to be uh, done. Uh, I guess the next thing we could do is do the street lamp, but I don't know how uh, to get the street. Oh, dismantle the street light. How about that? There you go. All right, so dismantle 10 street lights, lamps, and we can rebuild them, yeah? And we get the blueprint for it. All right, well, I think I just answered my own question. That's lovely. Hey, Waffle, how's it going? Can you get hit by the lightning? I don't think you can, no. It's like a sudden transition. Then it's like straight to like light. The storm has brought a bounty of new uh, salvage. A new critter shipwreck. Uh, what? Where? That's kind of sad. A big lightning thunderstorm has brought a new shipwreck to the cove. Hello. Ah, ye! Just be the lad I was hoping to run into. Old Anchor has been doing some thinking with his old shark brain, and I realize that you're not much of a sea captain if you ain't got a ship. <gasps> Dude, if I get a ship, I'm gonna... Well, I guess I have to go to different islands, huh? Fortunately, you could say me Finns have built their fair share of ships in meantime. In me time. I'd be more than pleased to volunteer me ship riding services to you. Uh, but me old cartilage... Cartilage? Is that how you spell cartilage? I guess so. Ain't what it used to be, and I can't be trekking all over this island looking for parts. Uh, that'd be your responsibility. In order for Anchor to build, you a fine craft that won't sink when the weather gets rough. When you're going, when you're going to need three things. Oh my lord! Well, known fact, the number one cause of ships sinking be water and getting into them. So the first thing you'll need is seaworthy hull. Also, it keeps your boots dry. You also need some sort of engine to make the ship go where you want it to go. Trust old anchor. Don't leave your travels up to the sea. You can be a fickle, fightful mistress and also terrible at direction. And finally, be on the lookout for a lantern post of some sort. It's dark out there and you might be wanting some light if he wants, if you wants to do some lighting or light reading or something. Find those items, bring them back to me and anchor will make you a fine vessel. You've got your orders, sailors. Now off with ye. Very well. Holy hell, that was so hard to do. Boat part. Holy moly. All right, so there's a few things going on here. There's a lot of boat stuff happening. We'll get to that eventually. I want to get the lights first. <laughs> okay keeping my eye out because i'm assuming this is like one of the circles yeah oh no we're not in okay we're, we're a little bit out of the circle still all right this is where the circle hopefully i don't have to go digging for it oh wait i think i see it Wait a sec, what is this again? Over here? This might be it. Yeah, this might be it. What is this? Okay, that is definitely not it. Keeping my eye out. Keeping my eye out. What is that? Who can, Sam? Oh, I didn't realize there's a tire back here. Oh, there's a couple of tires back here. Very good. I had tires here the whole time. 
workplace has been completed. Well, there we go. I guess we had to pick up a couple of tires and clean it up fully. Very well. All right, let's get more lights. Camera action, baby. Mm -hmm. Whoop. What's in here? Nothing, okay. Imagine getting hit by lightning and gaining a power. I pass. I'd rather say no thank you. The umbrellas are so cool. So cool. I love that you could like actually jump on top of them too. Looking for one more light. There it is. Mm -hmm. Hooray, a street lamp. Yeah, I think they should. Yeah, I think they should fix. They should do a little bit more on the um, on the weather system. I agree. That could that that could use a little bit of TLC. Yeah, that 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 could do. That, it could it could be better, for sure. Especially not spamming the lightning too. Spamming the lightning lightning is a little weird. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to start placing lights around now. You know, those umbrellas are pretty great. I agree. I agree. Hey, Bizbok. How are you? Good to see you, Bizbok. Reminds me of like... I mean, if anything, this reminds me of like a Disney film, yeah? Maybe I'm getting like a little bit of Coco vibes. Possibly. I don't know what kind of vibes I'm getting here. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. No, no, no. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. I do like Coco. That's a good movie. Okay, let's go to the. Yeah, let's go use our cooking pot. Let's do that. Do we have any food on us? Okay, let's add some fuel. And then we'll grab food from our chest. Yeah, yeah. Bunch of meat. Oh, you can do five slots. Very good. Cook. Cook. All of it. Give me all of it. Pick up grilled meat. Wait, already? Oh, that was like instant, dude. All right. Very well. Okay. Let's make some... Do I do it through here or do the work table? Work table. Make some lamps. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My French eyed is called Coco. My f her face when you said her name was a pitcher. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's like, what? Your dog is like, who is that saying my name? Oh, I see. Okay, so your dog is named Coco. That is hilarious. I love that. Uh, three lamps. Here we go. What do we need? Metal plates. All right, let's make some metal plates. With some metal bars. Okay, we're going to have to craft quite a bit here. Do pen. Takes three minutes. Very well. I wonder where this like critter uh, shipwreck was. And I want to know where these like little parts are, maybe. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe on the shore, yeah? I think they're boat parts, right? He, that's what he asked. He said boat parts. Can't wait to play this. I think I'll be addicted, or should I say I know I'll be addicted? Oh. Oh. Those are fighting words, no? No, those are. <laughs> no, I think I think this game's gonna do pretty well. I honestly do. And even like for like um Ooh, open? Hang on a sec. Even for like where the game is at now, like grilled fish. Interesting. Uh even for where the game is at now, ooh. For like being like this is like obviously a beta i mean so far 
the beta is feeling pretty good pretty good indeed and then early access right now i wonder if early access if that means like we're going to get some and not all of the map unlocked and then maybe throughout the development we'll get like the rest of the map unlocked or do we get everything that we see on the map now and then maybe later on they'll add like more islands and stuff there we go is that a furnace right there just chilling stuff just washes up on the shore no big deal yeah Is there more large crates to explore off the coast? Should I be like going underwater and like exploring more? Oh, my Lanta. There is another shipwreck down here. Yep, shipwreck right here. Oh my lord. I need like a new breathing apparatus or something. Up, 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 up. Oh god, oh god, we're gonna down. Oh, our health. <laughs> okay are there any hostiles i'm not sure i'm not sure if there is or not i think the reason why we have health might be just because uh we could drown but i'm not sure yo we got flour what the heck we got flour open current is too strong basic trunk learned very good up 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 hurry oh this is hurting yeah 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 uh-oh 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 the heck was that well we've learned something a stout ship to sail on bathtub grass cutter engine old coat hanger we actually might have all that in our chest what i know we have the grass cutter what the heck wow all right so i guess that's how you get hurt in this game interesting mm -hmm. okay so we know we have the grass cutter right grass cutter there now we just need the old coat hanger put a few things away um let's go like that that a poster i guess we could use the poster a canvas wrapped cargo container filled with useful goods can be used to supply a shop or sold for profit Ooh. okay we have the bathtub so all we need to do is find the coat hanger that's it done three lamps metal plates and glass metal plates go and glass which we should have got some okay ah, i need one more plate do i not have a plate in here i guess not just the one dun, dun, dun. hello putato how are you got stuck in a rip current the drowning noise is creepy yeah, so I guess, the, I mean, we need a bathtub for this boat thing, which is interesting because we're we gonna make like a bathtub boat. <laughs> All right, let's go see. Let me go try to find the uh, coat hanger over here. I assume it's over here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Hello, Amanda. How are you? My time at Sandrock Copy? Uh, no. Hello, Avada Miss. How are you? Good to see you. Um, is this the area? A little bit more this way. On the pathway to the beach. 
Over here? Down there? Pathway to the beach. Oh, is it like back at the at the beginning, yeah? Back at the beginning, yeah? Like the other beach? Which beach side? Not this side? Ace plant. Right. Have a drink on me. Thank you, Yurok. I appreciate it. Thank you for the super chat. I don't know if that was the kind of uh, drink you were thinking of, but that's a drink. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this. You made me buy Coral Island and I regret nothing. I love it. Love to hear that. Glad you're having a good time with it. That's so good. <clears throat> where the shipwreck is. Okay, so the pathway to the shipwreck is where the coat hanger is. Mm -hmm. Hello, Tanya. How are you? Good to see you, Tanya. All right, let's see here. Keep your eye out for a coat hanger. Okay. Got it. All right. So now we can talk to um, Anchor about this boat. Let's talk to Anchor. There we go. Anchor, where are you, buddy? Perfect timing. Have you managed to find the supplies Anchor needs to make your ship yet? I have. Never meet Embers. You find all the parts that I be needing to fix you up a ship. This will be a fine vessel, I tell you. Well, as fine as a vessel that can be made out of a tub, lawnmower, engine, anyhow. All Anchor is going to be getting started on putting her all together for you. While you be waiting, you should still let Renard know that you'll be having a ship soon. He's been yapping my gills off, asking about when you would have one. I'm sure by the time you find out what the lab land lubbin rat be wanting, I'll be having your ship put together. Well, oh. where is Renard? There you are. Ah, Kans, I've heard that Anchor is helping you procure your very own ship. That is most uh, opportune news. You can use your boat to explore the many islands beyond our shores, all of which hold the resources needed to support our community. Most importantly are the people who can be found on them. And if we've ever to grow, if we're ever to grow, we're going to need to get more people to move here. That's pretty cool. It'll be up to you to act as an ambassador and sell them the... Apparently that just went on its own. For all your sales, uh, old anchor cannot just be building your ship right here. Meet me down at the far side of the dock. Very well. Uh-oh. 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 It's bugged out. Bugged out. Okay. I gotta... I gotta close it and relaunch it. Whoop. All right. Bug number one. Out of the way. Oh, no. Don't do this to me, game. Don't do the weird resolution either. Hey, subscriber. Thanks for subscribing, Carla. Appreciate it. I wonder where it, where it auto saved. It probably it might have auto saved. I don't know where it auto saved. I wonder if it will be um uh when we woke up. Maybe I'll probably get Coral Island too when it's finished. Wonder how long that will take. Uh, early 2024. So the first quarter of 2024 should be the uh full release version of. Coral Island. Gosh darn it. It did bring us all the way back. Well, we get to do all that again. Very well. We lost the entire day progress is what we did. All right. 
Simple cutter. Okay, blade, tires. At least we know where the tires are. Get the blade going. Got the blade, sorry. Grab the uh, tires right here. Go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Did you now know not to die underwater? That's true. That is true. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Don't worry, we'll be, we'll, we'll be able to bump this out pretty fast. There we go. Perfect. There you go, copper bottom. I won't read through this again because we already know. The stone kin is very easy to make. A little heart on the wall. That's cute. Okay, I might need to get more metal pipe though. I don't know if I have an, if I have another metal pipe on me. I only have two. I know I have a trash can lid. We're gonna need the uh, lawn mower. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to go get. I have the tub on me. I do. Okay, I'm gonna get the coat hanger. And then I need to get uh, some pipe. Yeah. Coat hangers right here. Grab that. And then let's grab some pipe. We should be good. I'm excited for Lofty. Have I checked it out? I've seen it. I just haven't uh, played it. But yeah, I, I'll, I'll probably be playing that game too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's go to the other shipwreck. Now that we know. Actually, oh crap, I have to collect every street lamp again, huh? You're right. I think you're right. Brick. So far down here. Mm -mm, there we go. That. Okay, okay. Up, 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 up. Hurry, 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 hurry. Early access features, I mean bugs. That's right. That's right. Early access features are bugs, right? <laughs> Thank you, Yurok. I appreciate it. Uh, ocean's too strong. Okay, that... Okay. If the ocean is too strong, then we gotta, like, at least step away. I guess, you know what? What we'll do is we'll go back to the first dock, by the way. Thank you, Jason, for subscribing. I'll go back to the beginning dock where I have less trouble. I know there's stuff over there that I need to do. And I still need to get the uh, pipes from the, uh... From the, from the town, unfortunately, again. Yeah, Go Go Town is pretty cool. We've done a couple of streams on Go Go Town. I had some good fun. The progression of it, uh, as far as like development goes, it seems to be going well. So yeah, that game should be fun. Hey, Karen, how are you? Good to see ya. Hopefully I said your name right. Kira, Karen Meyer? Karen Meyer? Go. Okay. Grab some stuff. We're looking for pipes. Looking for pipes, pipes, pipes. No oh, metal. We want this too, this cargo stuff. Cargo stuff's for uh for the shops that we learned too. We're on our way to getting a new shop soon. Down we go. I think there was a bunch of stuff in here, right? Yeah. Go, go, go. Go. Perfect. Hurry, hurry. Go. Running out of breath. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, we have a couple of streams. I think we have two streams on Go Go Town. Yeah. We have two streams on Go Go Town. Come on, baby. Uh, no pipe, though? Salvage lamp? Interesting. This game has a lot of potential. I'm excited to see the other islands. Yeah. Me too, and I'm kind of excited to see also 
uh what their price point is going to be as well very curious tiny build is the publisher of this game and tiny build they do a lot of games uh, they put out a lot of games for sure they do be doing that they have a lot of good games i'm over here what is going on over here flower salt too strong okay or there we go go back this way hype unless we you know got something i didn't realize we did that could also be <laughs> that could also be that we got pipe and didn't realize i did oh god Ooh. oh goodness gracious ah there it is again just out of nowhere lightning is so okay right <laughs> it kind of is a little bit of a jump scare the weather transition is a little bit of a jump uh jump jump scare my lord tiny build adjusts the publisher that's right that's right they put out a lot of good games though i think tiny build was also uh we did like uh what was it um recently we played another tiny build game and that was uh what was it they, it was a. Uh, uh, a freaking oh gosh i'm drawing a blank i'm drawing a blank on the game we just recently played from tiny build um goodness gracious the one i'm like you know <laughs> the human one the 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 one where you're talking with the robots and you're on the skyscraper or you're on the you're on the buildings and you're making a oh frick oh my gosh the one we talked to the refrigerator i am future thank you yes i am future yes another tiny build game my lord i couldn't figure out the name there for a sec you might actually have the pipe no we still have two pipes we need three I don't want to go out to that other shipwreck, but I might have to. But I haven't checked this coast of the uh, of the island. There might be some shipwrecks over here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, F5. You can save the game here for sure. I think that means you can save the game like anytime you want, which is a nice um, a nice feature, especially with farming games cozy games usually you have to go to bed to get the auto save feature but i guess you can manually save on the go that's nice i want to hang out with sammy all day that's what i want to do oh there's a shipwreck way over there but i doubt i can actually go to it oh it's pretty blank over here no pretty blank What do you think of paleo pines i like it i like it i like it been having a good time with it nothing over here as i was expecting <laughs> all right we'll go back to the other side uh, i will grab some drumsticks though before we head back mm -hmm. Rogue Rose, he says, this is my first time watching a live stream. I found the channel while looking for a video on Paleo Pines and so glad I did. Oh, very good. Good to see you, Rogue Rosie. Welcome. Welcome. Good to have you. I wonder how much you can stack and what your swords can stack. That's a good question. Start dismantling the lamps all over again. 
Gotta love that. Oh, you're gonna play some paleo finds? Oh, very good, Blazing. Yeah, we're only a couple of days away from launch, so it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be very, very exciting. Yeah, that's true. You can make more storage, yeah. Yeah, you can also just make more storage anytime you want. Thank you, Erica, for subscribing. Appreciate it. Go. All right. Ooh, do I have too much? Ah, uh, oh, frick, I might have too much um, storage on me, huh? That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. We're going to our... Um, I, I need to pick up this glass. I do. Kind of important. Let me go drop off some stuff real quick. There we go. Uh, we'll drop off the cargo, the flour, the salt, stuff that we don't need right away. Uh, good. All right, good. I had so much fun playing this earlier that I had to force myself to stop and get some adulting done. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it too, Moxie. I'm enjoying it too. I'm, I'm kind of chilling. I'm just, I'm hanging out with these, these creatures, man, these critters. We're chilling. We're hanging out. They got me doing a bunch of jobs at once. I'm all for it. Yeah, the connected chest is so convenient. Uh, the only thing that I hope they change going forward is um, when you're crafting that you can they it will just pull out of the chest instead of you having to have the items in your inventory. So I hope that in the future they can make it so that when you are like, you know, crafting items, you don't have to have them on you. They can just pull from the chest. If they can do that, boom. Top tier. Top tier. One more lamp. Hooray! All right, so we got that all taken care of again. Can we F5 it? Let's F5 it. There we go. We saved it. Uh, we'll eat some food. Eat some more food. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I'm hitting the wrong one. Whoops. There we go. Accidentally ate the raw meat. Hey, Jennifer. How are you? Good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful day, too. Hopefully you are having a wonderful day. And hope you have a wonderful weekend as well. I played Pines demo as well after watching you play. Oh, very good. Did you? Oh, gosh. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy the, the Pines demo? Are you going to be picking up Paleo Pines for yourself? Yeah. Goodness gracious. I want to chop stuff up. That's right. I guess if I chop these fences up, I can then use them for decoration when I learn the blueprint for them. I need to get that one. There we go. Perfect. Dun, 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 dun. We still got three. No, we, yeah, we're still looking for three pipes. All right, I'm going to go back to the other ship now and see if we can uh, at least get one pipe. Save an exit to the menu? No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Hey, Lib. How are you, Lib? Such a hoarder of foraging. I waste so much time just foraging and collecting resources. <laughs> so many games coming out in the next week. That's true. That's true. Nico's Night Market. Yeah, Nico's Night Market. That's a game I, I would like to play. I have, uh, I request, I mean, I've tried to, like, get their attention. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to get a key for it, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. If not, if I don't get a key for Miniko's Night Market, then, uh, that's okay, because there's a lot that's going to be happening next week. A lot of games, a lot of things. There's going to be a lot of different games coming to the channel next week, for sure. Yep. 
Wait, do I not have enough? I don't have enough room. Oh, frick. Inventory is full. Come on! Up, 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 up. Okay, nope. I don't know if you can actually get pipes from these, uh, little scrap piles. But I, oh, yeah, you can. I just got one. Oh, oh, there you go. I guess that uh, question answered immediately. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we can make this stone kin. In, and we can make uh, street lights as well. Let's save. Um, my good man, sir, madam, copper freaking bottom. Get out of the way. Oh, I need to make a campfire. So, yeah. Hey, cans, smiley face, loving the game and the graphics. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy. Thank you for the generosity there. Massive $60 tip. My goodness gracious. Thank you for the super chat. That was very kind of you. Yeah. How are you, Andrea? Loving the game and the graphics? Yeah, the game's pretty cool, right? And the graphics are really good. I'm liking it. How are you? Good to see you, Andrea. My goodness. Thank you for the generosity there. Thank you for that. It's very kind. Uh, let's put a few things away. Hope you're doing well. Happy Friday to you. Okay. Should be enough. Hey, Patty G, what's going on? Says, oh my God, I don't even know what game to play anymore because there's too many new ones. I think I've been spending most of my time on Moonstone Island. <laughs> How are you doing, Patty? Welcome in. Okay. Uh, okay. Campfire. Thank you, Andrea. That was very, very kind. Ding. Okay. Duncan. Okay. Uh what uh shoot. Uh there we go. Yes. There we go. I think I have to re-talk to everybody. I think I have to re-talk oh no no no. After this we talked to Copperbottom about bringing in the uh, clothing shop, I think, right? There we go. Copperbottom. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Talk to Copper Bottom. Okay. Oh, and then we talked to Renard. Yeah, okay. Yes. We want to get the clothing shop in. He gave he gives us the, the poster thing. Very good. Oh, we talked to uh the the guy again. Caring community guy. Yes, yes, yes. We talk to the caring community guy, the CCC guy, right? There he is, way over there. The inspector, Inspector Chuck Mark. That's right. Aw. That was very sweet of you, Andrea. Talk to him, town ranking. We get into that, which we've already done. We gotta make sure we save after this. Okay. Thank you for the blueprint. I forgot what it was for. Do repair blueprint. What the hell did I just do? <laughs> I don't remember that. Did I pick a shoe repair instead of a clothing shop? Oh, son of a gun. Did I skip too fast? Ah, oh, that's all right. <laughs> I don't know, man. I forgot where the clothing... I, I didn't think he gave the, the rights to a clothing shop. I thought it was Copper Bottom, but anyways. Doesn't matter. I have something for you. Yeah, okay, I think it was from him. Oh, here we go. Yeah, survey the clothing shop. Perfect. There we go. It was for, through Copper Bottom. Gosh. Okay, now we should be up to speed. Um, we might have to talk to Anchor now. Uh, recommend really tired. Survey. Okay. Light up the town, which we can probably do soon. Uh, very good. Can we do this now? Okay, metal. That's right. Metal bars. Uh, let's do 20. Seven minutes. Good. 
And then we have to make metal plates to go along with it. Uh, we should probably drop some stuff off too. More cargo off. Take that back and put that in there. I like that you can actually rename the trunks and keep everything organized as well. Uh, Anchor, we need to talk to Anchor about a boat. So let's go talk to Anchor now. Save. <sighs> okay. Hello, Anchor. Yes, all right. Uh, he's going to tell us about how to make the ship, which we have the ingredients for already. I have something for you. There you go, buddy. Yes, yes, yes. You're so excited. All right, get that going. All right, so this is where the game bugged out when we talked to Renard. So hopefully it doesn't do it again. Here we go. I saved. Ah, cans. I've heard that Anchor is helping you procure your very own ship. That is important. And this is most opportune news. You can use your boat to explore the many islands beyond our shores, all of which hold the resources needed to support our community. Most importantly are the people who can be found on them. And if we're ever to grow, we're going to need to get more people to move here. Somebody then said Animal Crossing. Um, it will be up to you to act as ambassador and sell, the, sell them the dream of Critter Cove. I'm sure someone of your talents will have no trouble, no trouble at all. And as luck would have it, I've already figured out the first place you should start looking. I have it on good authority that a sailor is stuck on a nearby island of shy, shallow sands. This is incredible. If you were to say, sail up to this poor soul and offer assistance, I bet they'd be so great. They'd be so grateful they jump at the chance to move here. <laughs> well, yeah, he's on a stranded island. Yes, yes, that settles it. He will go to shallow sands immediately. Good luck, cans. Very well. We must save somebody. Oh, look at him. He's surveying the clothes shop. How wonderful. Woo. Love it. You picked coffee shop because I'm more into food than clothes. Like your style. Getting ready to home home for work. Have a great stream. Do take care, Riley, and be safe on your way home. You gotta talk to Anchor. Don't do anything I would do. <laughs> I don't know what that entails. Just don't do it, though. Make sure to uh, check before merging. Finding bugs deserves some cash. <laughs> thank you so much, Jason. I appreciate that. And thank you for, for choosing to celebrate your first super chat here with me. That was pretty good. Thank you. I appreciate that. That was very generous of you. Thank you very much. And finding those bugs is what we're here for. We're here to get those bugs out of here before they come out in early access. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Jason. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, very good. Whiskable. Hey, Whiskable. Go rescue someone and give them the only choice other than island. Death and they will surely move here. You get one option. You either starve to death on this island or you come live in my city and pay some taxes. There we go. I must say she's a fine looking craft. Well, she be a craft anyways. Congratulations. You're now officially the captain of your own ship. One more thing. It's a law of the sea that a new captain gives his ship a new name. Trust me. You don't want to break the laws of the sea. Once sea lawyers get involved, you're sunk. So, got a good name in mind? The Minnow? S. S. Minnow. No. How do you spell Minnow? He just had it. Minnow. The SS Minnow John. Ah! I can't put the SS Minnow Johnson. Brick. Cute bathtub ship. Wait, what if it upgrades to a uh, to a not bathtub in the future? Rub a tub tub. Oh my god! Very close to rub a hug hug. What what are they? Uh, SS. I could put the SS Minnow Johnson. SS instead of the Minnow Johnson. The SS Minnow Johnson. I like this. Now, this is a reference. Um, that's how you spell... Hang on. This is how you spell Minnow, right? Let me just correctly ask chat. That's how you spell Minnow, right? But this is a reference. 
Hey, chat got very quiet. That's right. I got one right. Okay, I got two rights. Okay. Okay. I got three rights. All right. SS Minnow Johnson. Are you sure you want to call it her the SS Minnow Johnson? Don't worry too much since you can always change it later. Yes. Oh, you can change your, the name of your ship at any time. I should have just named it Rubba Dub Tub then. This is a fine name for a fine vessel. Treat her well and she will probably never sink on you. And if she does, tell Davy Jones that Anchor says ahoy. Well, don't just stand there gawking like a land-loving walleye gutter snipe. Hop in and take her for a spin. Okay. All right. The shallow sands we go. Oh my goodness. How freaking cute is this? Okay. Look. As much as I want to go out right now, it is almost 7 p.m. I will go out in the morning. What is this like one speed two speed three speed four speed five speed is this a five speed different angles i will anchor here we will go out into the morning we will go out in the morning to shallow sands and we will save this person and we will tell them to move in i bet you they're gonna have to work in my clothing shop huh my sweat shop oh my god where is this game taking us all right to bed we go first actually to cook we go first <laughs> SS Minnow Johnson. I love it. Okay, start cooking. Uh, grill my meat, please. Just give it a sec. <laughs> just give it a sec. Perfect. Okay. Did I just actually learn that recipe? I better not have. Okay. Cook. Give me all of it. So fast. It's like instant, dude. All right, anyways. That's all for tomorrow. We're going to use the food for tomorrow if we need it. All right, let's go to bed. Time to go to bed. Hello, Kirsty. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome in. Woo! Sleep until the morning. Okay, so lay down. We have done did. Perfect. Wonderful. Okay, early morning, time to go to the shallow sands. Uh oh, where's my boat? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Gonna be great. Here we go. All right, now I don't know exactly which direction I'm going. I guess west. Where am I? I'm right there. Okay, so we gotta head west. Oh, dude, this is so cool. How cool is this? And the music, and the boat, save before going. I just saved in the middle of the ocean. Oh. Hey, Kataya, how are you? Good to see you. Are you able to adjust the length of your days? I don't, whoa, that was dangerous of me to do. I don't think so, but I'll, I will check. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like you can maybe that will change uh but as of right now no i think this is the island right off to the left yeah i should have probably emptied my pockets huh mm -mm -mm -mm. the music reminds me of moana i was thinking the same thing too shipwreck Oh yeah, it's way over there. Dun 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 na 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 Oh Hello Hello Are you you look so sad Dottie my mom was t always told me to look on the bright side, but it's really it's times like these that make it really hard And I mean really really hard. What's wrong? <coughs> well, my ship sank stranding me on this island and all my worldly uh, Worldly possessions are at the bottom of the sea on the bright side. I'm on a nice beach There's some food here and I'm meeting someone new. I'm Dottie. Well, I'm Gans. Well, Great to meet you, Cans. I just wish it could have been under better better circumstances. 
Hey, could you maybe help me out a bit? This ship is a lost cause, but if you could help me get my stuff back, that would be really incredible. I'll help. Oh, wow. That's so nice of you. I do it myself, but I'm not really a very good swimmer. The ship went underwater just off the eastern coast here, and all my stuff is treasury chest inside. I, I don't think it will be too hard to find. Right here. Over here? Then on the eastern side. I know there's a ship on the other side. Yeah, I see it. Kataya, thank you for re-upping your membership. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Mm. Wait, Dottie? Is that the name of Susie's dog? Oh. I think I find the missing chest. Oh, I guess that was the chest. That better not be. In memory of Dottie? Wait a sec. Time out. What am I missing here? Hopper still? Look here, Dottie. My dog is Bonnie. Okay. Sorry, then I just misread that then. <laughs> your, oh, you waffle your dog, Dottie? Is that, yeah? Hello again, Cans. Any luck with that whole sunken chest thing yet? It's underwater off this eastern coast, if you forgot. Well, I have it for you. There you go. You found my chest. Thank you so much, Cans. You really turned a terrible day into a s only sort of a bad day. I want to I want you to have this thing from my chest. I won't take no for an answer. You've earned it. Uh oh, the chest <laughs> work boots. Now that I've got my stuff, I guess I'll think about what I'm going to do next. I'm sure something will come along. You can move to Critter Cove. Lick lick. I beg your pardon. You've already helped me so much. And now you're offering me a place in Critter Cove. You've got to be the nicest person ever. I would love to live in Critter Cove. In fact, I'm going to head to your ship right now. See you on board. Oh, very well. I thought you weren't a good swimmer. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, cool. I want to kind of explore a little bit, though, yeah? I'm going to explore the island a little bit. Oh, cool. Oh, wait a sec. We got new boots. So can we actually put that put those on? Work boots. Comfortable, sturdy, high vis visibility wear. Oh, it goes with the outfit, baby. Now we got our Skechers. Perfect. I love it. Woo. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Fancy. That's right. Any cosmetics? Any cosmetics will do. Thank you. What is this? Looks like a shell, a blue shell. Very good. This place is kind of cool, yeah? A lot of ships have uh, been washed up here. What, two ships on this little island? Not counting what's underwater? <gasps> oh, I need those. I need those cargoes. Probably could have took my ship out here, but I need those cargoes. Here we go. I think the sugars and flowers and stuff like that and salt... This, this is all stuff that could possibly be made maybe for your cafe and stuff like that, possibly. You just have a whole lot of reptiles and bunnies? Oh my lord. You got the scary stuff. Well, maybe not the, like, the bunny, but the, you got the reptiles. You got the scary stuff. You got the stuff where I'm like, okay, I'll come into your house, but, like, I need, like, a full scope of the parameter, and I also need you to not... Get anywhere near me with a reptile. <laughs> reptile. I don't know, dude. <laughs> like, okay, a turtle's one thing. Lizard. A bearded dragon. Kind of pushing it. Snake. Absolutely not. If there's a snake inside of your house, I will, uh, I will be visiting. That's all I will be doing. I will not be staying very long. I am terrified of snakes. They're more scared of you than you are of them, Cans. Yeah, but I'm terrified of them. They just look. And they have a mind of their own. You never know what they're up to. What is that? Marble blocks. Oh, very good. 
their mouths are so small that they can't even bite you cans nah dude they'll choke me out or something i don't know don't trust it don't trust it they're some of the most lovable creatures i disagree <laughs> That's, that's it. I, I, I just disagree. No other way around it. All right, let's go, Dottie. Carry you back to your real house. I have a snake and three bearded dragons. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's no way I can hang. Here we go. Okay. Grab all this good stuff. Yes, yes, yes. The driving mechanics of the boat in this game are actually really good. Yeah, they're really good. It's actually really comfortable to, to drive this thing. Now, what do these numbers do? Oh. They're like gears. They're, they are actually gears. So you can have it manual, manual or automatic, I guess. That's kind of cool. Oh. Sorry, Dottie. Oh, sorry, Dottie. You have three corn snakes. Best thing to get over is to just be around them for a safe distance to get used to them and realize they aren't as bad as you think. It's like, I, I think the same thing that I have with snakes is like, if you walk into a classroom and you like scratch, scratch a, a chalkboard with your fingernails, you know that sensation? I think that's the sensation I get when I'm around a snake. Dottie, you're home. Critter Cove looks exactly how I imagined it would. I can't wait to get started with my new life here. New beginnings, right? I'll need some time finding the perfect home, but until then, I'm going to need some someplace temporary to stay. I don't want to be too much of a bother, but is there any chance that I could maybe get a tent or something simple like that? Yeah, I can do that. I'll get you a tent. How do I get you a tent? I need cloth. Fabricator. And you play this game on PS4. I'm not sure yet. Uh, this game is not out yet, but um, I don't know if it's coming to console. I'm not sure 100%. Better. Huh? Oh, you need fiber. Okay, where do I get fiber at? Maybe from the bushes? Can you chop bushes in this game? I'm not sure where you get fiber at. Soil? That fiber? No. My steak has a temper, so there's really no getting used to them. Just got to deal with, with his moods. Now that, and you hear what you just said. You hear what you just said. Imagine a snake having a temper. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, that is a, like, hello. That, huh, can't even fathom that walk into my house oh yeah this is jerry he's a snake don't mind him he cops an attitude from time to time but he, it's okay he's friendly ish <laughs> excuse me i'll get to you in a sec copper bottom okay um, I would like to use this blender poster, so I'm going to do that. I guess I could put away these shoes. I could possibly sell the shoes, too. Plunge leaf lettuce. Interesting. Marbles. Sugars. There, we'll hold on to the fiber. Oh, actually, you know what? Do I have fiber? I do have a plenty of fiber, but I think I have enough cloth now. I think we're good. Um, yeah. Back to the cloth. I'll be with you in a sec, copper bottom. Uh, oh, perfect. Oh, I didn't mean to dig this. I think that's good now. A tent? No, that was only one cloth. Okay, we can make the other cloth. Did we hit 250 likes? Oh, very good. Thank you, everybody, for 250 likes. See if we can get to 300, maybe. 300 likes for 
300 likes for Critter Cove. Critter Cove. Show the devs some support so that people will get this stream and this game recommended into their recommendations, I guess. Put into their recommendations so that they can check out Critter Cove and see what this is about in case they don't know uh, what Critter Cove is all about, right? It did have a jumping spider, a pet jumping spider. What in the world? That don't, that don't live very long. Oh my gosh. A jumping spider. What? Okay. Are you torturing yourself over there? Hey, Lisa love pie. How are you? Or Lisa loves pie. Good to see ya again. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So now we talk to Dottie. Let's go talk to Dottie. Oh, there's Dottie on the de on the dock. Dottie on the dock. <laughs> Sounds like a song. <sighs> Dogs, cats, guinea pigs. That's all I got for you. And bunnies, you could say. Like imagine feeding a snake. Hello, cans. It's nice to see you again. Hey, have you, you haven't had a chance to find me a tent, have you? No, I have, actually. There you go. This looks like a great tent. Thank you for helping me out. You're the best, Cans. You've helped me so, so much, I really feel like you deserve a reward. I've got the thing for you. You give me a bunch of rewards, Dottie. Oh, is that a couch? That is a couch. I'm going to find a good spot to set this up and settle in. I'm actually really excited to start my new life here. All right, have a good one, Dottie. A couch. We have a couch. Nice. The furrier, the creepier. We're talking about spiders, yes. Yeah, we do have guinea pigs. We have guinea pigs and they all have personalities and it's wonderful, but my lord. They are needy. <laughs> They're so needy, man. Uh, oh, add more fuel. I'm sorry, add more fuel. You need more fuel? I'm sorry, keep adding fuel. Alright, how much fuel do you need? Why do I feel like this is a bug? Okay, I feel like that's a bug. I'm not gonna keep feeding the fire. Yeah, I, 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 that might be a bug there. I'm not going to mess around with that. Okay. Okay, let's go to our home and then, um, oh, that's a known glitch. Oh, frick. Campfire glitch. So pick it up and put it down again. Okay, good shout. You don't have to add any more fuel. Okay, good. The one time fuel thing. Okay. Perfect. Here we go. Okay, start cooking, baby. Okay. Grilled meat. All five. Here we go. Nice. Are we needing my girls weak at weak at me every time I get up? Like, excuse me, you have everything you need? Exactly! Exactly. My freaking pigs. They sit there. They squeak at you if you make a subtle move. You have veggies. You have hay. You have dry food. You have water. What else do you need? You have each other. You have a big playpen. You have a custom built cage. A massive custom cage. I don't have like a store bought cage. You have you have a custom like it takes the it's massive and you're Yelling at me still every time I open the refrigerator they yell at me Why are they yelling at you every time you open the refrigerator because they know that's where their lettuce is They're crazy man There we go nice little couch It's kind of small <laughs> So small our feet kind of clip through but you know all right <laughs> Huh? 
nice little poster. Cool. That's how you decorate, baby. For a lot, a bit more to the year. Keep up the great work. Oh, very, very, very good. <sighs> 11 months. Thank you for the 11 months of support. One year coming very, very soon. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing well, Meralt. Okay. Let's go talk to Renard. I'll get to you in a sec, Copper Bottom. Here we go. Back from your travel so soon. I honestly expected that to take you a little bit longer. Did you manage to bring a new person to our town? I did. Oh, that's very good news. Growing Critter Cove's population is vital for its success. Well done, Cans. I think you've earned this uh, for doing such a good job. A tricorn hat. <laughs> I best get back to my store. With the new arrivals, there's opportunity for new sales. Oh, make sure to keep an eye out for anyone else out there who might want to move here. Oh, I got a hat, dude. Yeah, nice. Now, now we're a sailor. Look at us. We're looking pretty good. Yeah, I agree. Be aware then, don't water those chihuahuas. <laughs> what? When does, when does the game release? Uh, early access in 2024. Early 2024. Like the first few months. Hopefully, unless it... I don't know if this game's on Unity. I don't know if this game's on Unity or not. If it's on Unity, it could... It could be different. I'm not sure. I know there right now, with the whole Unity thing going on, there's a lot of games that are being developed. There's a lot of games that are scheduled to release that are actually being delayed. There's a lot of games being delayed because of Unity. So I don't know if this game is... is built on Unity or not. Greetings, cans. Data has been gathered and compiled on the damaged clothing shop. Damage to the clothing shop is minor and requires minimal resources to initiate repairs. A collection box with a list of required materials has been placed near the clothing shop. Completely this, completing this task will allow this unit to begin work on the meta person covering business. Oh, okay, good. There's a change in Unity Heart just about a few hours? No. The damage is done. Uh, they will never uh, gain any developer's trust again. Yeah, they've reverted everything. They can revert everything they want, but it will. people will forever know what they did. And you can't really... There's no coming back. <laughs> the damage is done. <laughs> they ain't coming back on that. Sorry. Actually, you know what? I might need more more pipes, right? Let's see. More pipes, more stone slab, and what the heck is this? An old loom. How do I get an old loom? Old loom. I might have to pick it up somewhere? Possibly? Hmm. Stone slab. Okay, that makes brick. Which I don't know if I need more brick. I didn't see. Uh, let's make the lamps, though. Street lamps. Uh, metal. Yep, we'll do that. Metal plates. We'll max it out. 11 is fine. Takes six minutes. Okay. Cutter? Wooden frame. Wooden... Okay, marble slabs. I don't know. No, stone slabs is what we need. We're going to need to get a bunch of stone. Okay, let's go get some stone. Clean up the area. Yes, copper bottom. This unit is ready to begin gathering repair data on another structure. Which structure would you like this unit to gather data on? Cafe. This unit observed the meta persons do love to cram their face holes with biomatter. This unit will start gathering data on the cafe right away. Once this unit has completed gathering the data on the structure, please speak to it again. Get a full report. Very well. Yeah. I mean, to be real, I mean, I know people can, like, they'll go to, like, uh, and honestly, Unreal Engine, the Unreal Engine's gonna, like, be taking storm here in the next couple of years anyways. I 
Basic trunk. All right, we relearned that one again. Good, good, good. And we need stone. Go get stone. You get stone from digging. Let's see. I don't know if you do. You do. Okay, good, 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 good. Cool. Oh, is it on the other island, the old loom? Okay, good shout. Oh, very cool. Okay, okay. Cool, that gives us a reason to go to uh, uh, another island. Yeah, is that a new island or the same island? No, that's a new island. Oh, very good. What time is it? 4.30? Okay, we might go to the new island tomorrow then. Very good. Researching trash cans. Damage is done, no walk back. Seven plus years working in Unity, but it's a good thing I started to learn Unreal two years ago for giggles. I think there's other people in the community also that have uh, started learning uh, Unreal for giggles as well. Yeah. Good time. Good time indeed. But yeah, I, you know, never. I don't know who or why or what, you know, what was the thought process? I don't know who was in charge. I get it. Um,. And it goes for like YouTube, Twitch. I know this is not like anything in, in anything similar, but like I get it. YouTube and Twitch and Kick and all these different platforms, businesses really, businesses. What it boils down to, they do questionable things because honestly, they have to make a profit every year. So it's a business. They have to make a profit every year, and maybe Unity is like got to make a profit. You know, let's find a way to make a profit. And YouTube is actually taking a lot from uh, a lot right now on and that's why actually YouTube has focused a lot on shorts YouTube shorts is because uh, it makes YouTube a lot of money and they have to be profitable Here we go okay, Let's go ahead and cook up here At the end of the day, it's business, right? Doesn't mean it's smart business, but it is business. There you go. Okay. Okay, let's go here, grab some of this, make some more. Max that out too. Thank you. Have a good one, Rock Garden. Do take care. Yes. Off to cook some grub. Have a good lunch or dinner. Indeed. <laughs> or you go have a little chat with Anchor just to answer a question others have asked. Wait, what? Oh, I'm so glad this shows in the journal. Oh my lord. That is so good. Oh, that's so good. You know what? Can you actually pick up some that have already been created or you have to wait the whole time? Okay, you have to wait the whole time. All right, I see. All right, all right, all right. Very well. We should be able to do this now, right? Let's see. About 90 seconds left. 90 seconds left. All right, so let's, let's continue cleaning up a bit. And then uh, we'll... Put some lights down for the night time, yeah. Can't wait to play all these new games on my new PC. Are you getting your new PC soon? Yeah, Phelan? Soon, yeah? Oh, man. I can't wait for you to get your PC. And is it going to be your first PC? Oh. No. You just got it? You just got your PC? Yo. Happy days. What are you doing watching me? You should be setting that thing up. <laughs> I would turn me off so fast. <laughs> 
Not my first, but my best. Oh, good. Oh, good. Hey, J-Rock. What's going on? Uh, I'm yet to watch the newest Paleo Pines. How are you going with the dino pronunciations? Um, some of them I'm doing well. Um, some of them I'm just making up as I go, but yeah. There was a dinosaur that started with the P and I just said F it and called it a pistachio. Oh. So that's how it's going. All right, 90 seconds should be done now. Okay, here we go. Street lamps. I would like to craft 10. Okay, I can only craft three. <laughs> Is it because of the glass? Yeah, I think it's because of the glass. <sighs> Very good. Okay. All right. I kind of like the positions of where the street lamps were, but I think really I'm going to put the street lamps where like it's right now, like mostly um, occupied, like heavy traffic. What is this? A dragon fruit? Oh, cool. I don't think I've ever had dragon fruit in my life. Place this. Oh, nice. I want to put that on the sidewalk, though. There. Maybe put one over here, yeah? Dottie! I'm going to put a lamp up your rear end. Really? That's what you wanted to do, huh? Goodness gracious. What was that, Dottie? Hey, I put three down. Holy Lord. Famous dinosaur pistachio. <laughs> All right, good. Let's turn in for the night. <sighs> okay. If we could throw some th throw some stuff uh, to the side, yeah? Do I have any glass in here, though? I do have some glass in here. I could make some more street lamps. Some food away, too. Salt. Actually have that on the other page. Here we go. Rusty tanks. Oh my gosh. Wait. Salvage. Wait a sec. A salvage couch? Can I use that as decoration? No. Salvage lamp. Okay. I might need those for something later. I'll put those away. Put the treadmill away. Salvaged bed as well. Could be still useful in crafting a new one. Oh, I see. I see. All right. Very, very good. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what you're putting down, game. Ooh. Sleep we go. Go. I left and didn't see. Did you do Dottie's tent? Uh, basically, I gave Dottie the tent and then Dottie put their tent uh, wherever they wanted. I don't know exactly where Dottie put the tent, though. But yeah. Uh, okay, surveying the cafe. That's doing light up the town. How many lights do you want? Like a bunch? I'll keep putting some down. And then uh, we got to obviously continue doing this, which I should be able to donate more four in there and then we'll have to go to the other island to get the loom we're gonna need to get three pipes grab some glass right here, here go oh there we are make some more lamps have i tried moonstone island oh no i have not i probably won't be playing that no i, I won't be playing that one there we go yeah, I won't be playing Moonstone Island. Okay. 
Again, I want to light up where it's populated, mostly. Yeah, don't sell everything. Don't be Susan and sell everything. Ah, more glass. Perfect. Oh man, this bush is in the way to make it look even-ish. Frick. I guess we can put one over here then. Perfect. Then another one. Oh, there's glass right there too. Enjoyed the stream, but King of Retail is calling my name. Hey, King of Retail's calling your name. Thank you for the super chat, you're on. I, you know, King of Retail too, right? Someday. I really hope. Oh man. That would be so fun. That would be so fun. I appreciate that. Thank you. Gotta get this. I'm having a hard time putting this one down already. Like I'm, I'm having a good time just sitting here chilling and crafting and doing my thing. I'm having a good time with this game. I don't even know. Wait, I don't even know where Copper Bottom is actually doing the survey at. Where is he doing the survey? Is it somewhere up at, at the top of the town? Yeah. Where is the survey that he's doing? Uh, sir. Hey. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, look at that pink house. Or pink building. Okay, that looks like a barber shop. Or like some sort of hairstylist shop. Nice. I wonder if that's what that's going to be. favorite part Woo. <laughs> wait open <gasps> open I don't think I'm supposed to open that door <laughs> oh finding it all finding it all <laughs> just go this way to copper bottoms or i guess not to copper bottoms but to the cafe yeah there he is found him hello greetings guys this unit completed compiling the data on the damage cafe the structure has minor damage it requires minimal resources to initiate repairs a collection box with a list will be at outside and all that good stuff. Please assist in the collection of the required resources. Without your assistance, the unit calculates the odds of task completion to be less than 1%. Whereas Renard likes to say a bleep chance in bleep. <laughs> okay. Oh, right here. All right. What do you need? Put bricks in there. Put a bunch of wood planks in there. Plates, cooking station, and a pirate sign that we're probably going to have to go to an island to get. All right. So let's... What time is it? Eight in the morning. Let's go off to the other new island. And we'll go see if we can get that loom. Yeah. Go to my my SS Minnow Johnson. Reminds me a bit of My Sims, where you have to build homes for the different businesses. I never got to play My Sims. Uh, excuse me. Why is my boat way out there? Okay. Where is it at? Okay, uh, a little bit of uh, Southwest airline. Very good. That way. I wonder how big of a boat you can build in this game too. Oh, should I chat with Anchor first? Whoops, let me go back and chat with Anchor first. Anchor! The music's so bopping. This is definitely a kid's bop. Yeah. 
Swap Great Davy Jones Barnacles. This blasted contraption has given up the ghost, I tell you. What is it? This be an air tank refilling machine. Ah, <laughs> All right. Let me put my seatbelt on. Okay. I like where this is going. Very well. You just take a rusty tank, put them in this machine, and a new small air tank come out. Or at least that's what's supposed to happen. But this machine be more broken than a ship full of holes. You'd be needing to get it working again if you're ever going to dive deep enough to get the best salvage. I agree. It looks like I'd be needing a few parts. The rubber tire in a metal pipe. Shouldn't be too hard. But the power box is going to be tricky. Sea slugs and stew. Old anchor be knowing just the spot to find one. There'd be an underwater garage not far from here. If any place nearby has one, it'll be there. You'll be needing this to make it easier for you, though. It's me. It's me, old mass, that I won't be needing anymore. It only has the one air take, so make sure you don't be wasting it or you'll be finding yourself diving the hard way. Nice. Let's go. Once you've found the power box, install all the missing parts on the machine. That should repair it good and for sure. When you've got it working again, find me and let me know. I have more work for you. Very good. But let me look at this. Can I examine it yet? <sighs> okay. Replace rubber tire. True. Replace metal pipe. I don't have metal pipes, do I? Okay. Don't worry. When I come back, I'm doing it, baby. <gasps> this is so good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> to the right? Oh, right here? Oh, all right, all right. Let's see. Right here, right? Underwater garage. Okay, here we go. Holy crap. You're not wrong about that, dude. A little cute car. Cool. I'm looking for pipes. Can I dismantle the car? No? Dang, dang it. That was Mr. Bean's car, dude. Kind of. Not the same color. Hello, Danielle. How are you? Is it break time? Is it break time for Danielle? Are you on break? Dude, I want to smash that car so bad. <laughs> Gooba sent to mailbox? I just had something sent to the mailbox, apparently. Excuse me, put that away. Wow, this is so cool, dude. I love this. I love the fact that we got like a scuba gear too. Want to turn the cars into boats? Dun 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 dun. dun. Ooh, get up. Our seat <laughs> and you will need a boat seat <laughs> turn him to boats you're gonna need a boat seat okay uh oh okay hopefully for pipes and it looks like the air tank or scuba mask here the air tank yeah what is that power box it looks like it's um it's lasting a long time too really kind of like it tones down the anxiety a little bit where it's like oh my gosh i gotta like hurry 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 i can kind of like enjoy myself underwater a bit here and i think that's one of the cool things about this game is that the underwater is just so like i don't know vibrant a jellaloon jellaloon Hello? Oh. 
A broken motor. Rusty gas can. Nice. Duck boat. <laughs> what is life without scuba? Oh yeah, that's right. Danielle is a big scuba diver. She's uh she's into the scuba diving. I don't do scuba diving, but she does the scuba diving. I don't know if I trust myself to be underwater that long. But she be doing the scuba diving. <clears throat> This is really cool. I wonder, yeah, I wonder, like, it kind of makes me think, like, what is the story behind this? Like, why is there garages down here? Like, was there a town down here before, or? I am kind of curious, like, what does that, all that mean? Oh, you can't check your inventory in the boat? All right. I don't think I got a pipe out of any of that, no? I don't think I did. Is there, so, is there something I still need to get there, yeah? Did I miss something down there? I feel like I did, because we still have the red circle. Hey, okay, let's go... Here. I'm kind of like going to all the red circles right now. My lungs and anxiety are made for land walking. They're barely made for that, <laughs> even. I would love to see you play Subnautica. You would panic and be all over the place. I, that's one of the reasons why I've never played it, because I'm like, oh, shoot, dude. I don't know what to expect. Oh, baby. Now, we've been over here already. Now, I don't know if this would be kind of like, hang on, let's go under. Instead of guessing, check for certain. Okay. Oops, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Careful. Can you go in there? Oh, gosh. Uh oh. Oh, oh my lord. Okay, okay, let's let's get away from this. Get away. I'm feeling too dangerous. I have the sh uh, motor from the other side of the ship? Okay. This side or the other side? The other side? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Like underwater? The sign on the side. Oh, the sign on the side. Oh, that's right. The pirate sign. Oh my goodness. There we go. It looks so well done where it's like just part of the ship. Okay, there we go. We got the pirate sign. Okay, so then that should do it. Yeah? Here. And then we can go to this island. This island for the loom, right? Music so damn good. I know I keep saying it, but I, I can't get over it. Yeah. There we go. Hey, Blackthorn. How are you? Good to see ya. Welcome in. Wait, Lady Fluffy Dragon. Oh, hello. I didn't see you come in. How are you? This is the loom right here, 100%. Okay, we got the loom. Uh-oh. go. Whoop. I kind of want to get glass and stuff like that. If there's like any lamps over here, I want to grab it. This place looks pretty cool, though. What is going on here? Almost like a stone gazebo. 
Another loom? I wonder what another one would be used for. We have multiple clothes shop, I wonder. Or maybe it's needed for another shop later on. Or maybe it's not needed for any shop at all. Maybe you can use it for something else. There we go. The music on this island's a little weird. You hear that? Like in and out. A polka nut. I don't know. Ooh. Okay, inventory full. Frick. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna make the like uh our decision to trash an item. Oh crap, what did I trash? Okay, good. That was the lettuce thing, I think. We're gonna take some time to trash a couple of items. I hate to do this. I I as a hoarder, I'm I'm I apologize, but what the heck is this, right? Fish fossil. Yeah. I got it. Whoa! What the devil? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh Hello? Oh my goodness, it's Tipper. Ha <laughs> ha! The statue is a hoot! It just keeps yapping away. Wait a minute. Unless something has gone really, really wrong, statues aren't supposed to talk, right? What? Oh, really? Uh, wow, you don't say. Okay, okay. I'll let him know. First of all, my name is Tipper. The statue said I was being very rude and not telling you. Sorry. Dude, dude, nice to meet you, I guess. I, you're out. You look awesome, but... He can't just fun to say. Oh, yeah. The statue also said I shouldn't have eaten the yellow berries. I guess they affected me. It says I need some blueberries that grow on the hidden beach on this island. It'll make me feel better. Well, I will find some then. Oh, wow. All right. You're so nice and cool. I'll just hang out here if you don't mind. <gasps> oh, my gosh. This is too funny. Oh, my God. How cool. All right. So blueberries it is. Hidden blueberries. Like a worship site here. Oh, just the blueberries. Soothing blueberry. Very good. Very good, very good. Uh, metal pipe, question mark. Metal. Let me eat oh. some veggie salad. Let me eat some meat as well. Oh. <laughs> Alice in the Wonderland. <laughs> Is there storage on the tub? I don't think there's any storage on the boat. No. I mean, the graphics and the sound. I know, right? This boat looks interesting. Can I get inside this boat? I can. What in the world is that? My inventory full again. It is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I should have definitely emptied before I left. Uh, uh look here. Uh, salt. Leave my. Leave my pockets. Wait a sec. I can't pick this up. No, I can. No, I can't. Wait a sec. Can or I can't? Can. Frankenwaddle? What? It's alive. It's waddling. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. I mean, that's a Frankenstein Gene Wilder reference there. I, I appreciate, but... <laughs> That's interesting. It's alive! All right. Let's head back. Let's give him his blueberries. Blueberries for you. Whoa, it's cans. Are you... Why are you all swirly? You must... It's like a... Like he ate the shrooms on accident. But in this case, it was the yellow berries. This berry is very blue. Oh, I yeah, I suppose I'm supposed to eat this. Uh, hold on. Look at that. Whoa, I feel so much better already. My head cleared just like that. 
Thanks for helping me out, Cans. That was really embarrassing, but at least the statue stopped talking. Who knows how long I would have sat there if you hadn't come along. Here, I want to I want you to have this. You've earned it. Oh, glasses. Now that I'm feeling better, I can get back to figuring things out. I was looking for a new place to call my home before I ate those berries. Dude, come good luck with that. <laughs> no, come to Critter Cove. You look awesome. You mean it? I mean, absolutely. I'd love to live on Critter Cove. In fact, let's do this right now. I'm going to head down to your ship. I'll be ready to sail when you are. Cool. How cool. It's really fun to kind of explore these islands and stuff like that. Really fun. I'm enjoying it. I am definitely enjoying it. Having a good time. Definitely add this game to your wish list for sure. If you like these kinds of games, I mean, what the frick? Hey. I beg your pardon? What is going on? That's a giant motor glitch. <laughs> oh crap. Dipper, we're going to be tipped over. There's just something about sailing and talking. I like a salty sea dog that just got together hand in hand. I bet I would have made a great sailor, or at the very least, someone who sounds like a great sailor. Don't. Oh my goodness, Grace. Don't mind us. Okay. Back home we go. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Do you have a... Uh, where do you have... Are you... Is that a massive motor? Or are you just happy to see me? Mostly harmless. Is it joy, uh, joining in late? Is this adding neighbors the same way, kind of like Animal Cro Crossing? It does kind of have like an Animal Crossing, yeah, uh, vibe to it with adding uh, critters and stuff like that to your island. That's a massive motor. We should probably save. Oh, goodness gracious. This is why it's called the SS Minnow Johnson. You don't drive a tub. You don't drive a boat. You drive a motor. That's all you drive now. A motor with a giant hat on it. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks for subscribing, Screcio. Appreciate it. <laughs> Very good. Hello. Critter Cove looks exactly how I imagined it would. I can't wait to get started with a new life here. New beginnings, right? I'll need some time finding a perfect home, but until then, I'm going to need some place temporary to stay. I'm guessing you're going to need a tent. Yeah, we can get you a tent. No problem. How oh, cool. Ah, that's so funny. So far, this game looks awesome. It, ah, yeah, I, I, yeah, right there with you. Copper bottom, you're in the wall, sir. You might want to get out of there. Like, immediately. More of this, please. Thank you. <laughs> And then, um, oh wait, we need to do, how do we do a bed again? We have to do, or a tent, sorry. We got to go this and this, a cloth. That's right. Cloth. There we go. Copper bottom. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you, you'll just, you just do you copper bottom. How about that? You just do you, buddy. Um, oh yeah, there we go. Diving for power. That's right. We got the power thing. Did we get what we needed for this? No, we need the metal pipes first. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, but we still need the metal pipes. Okay, good. We got sunglasses. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, tent. Fabric, waiting on that. Cloth done. Very good. Tent, made. Inventory is full. 
Correct. Put some stuff away. Um. I guess I could put the the duck in my in my uh, in my house. Yeah. Uh, 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 pirate sign we're gonna need for the cafe. Put the fish fossil away for now. I'm such a bad hoarder, I know. I like to keep everything in my inventory just in case if I need to build something. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Head time. Here we go. What was the name? What was Tipper? I think his name. Yeah, Tipper. That's right. Have a good one, Jason. Do take care. Thank you for hanging out with us. I appreciate it. And thank you for so much for the super chat as well. I appreciate that as well. Have a good rest of your day and uh, you have a wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend as well. Yeah. We have a lot more after the demo and want to keep adding to this game so much more to add. Oh, very good. I love to hear that. Can't wait to see. I can't wait to see. Yeah. Please eat the yellow berry. I don't think we got the yellow berry, right? Game is so on my wish list. Oh, I love that. Hello, someone's grandma. I don't think I said hello to you yet. Hello, Cans. It's nice to see you again. Hey, you haven't had a chance to find me a tent, have you? No, no, no. We have. We're good. We're good. I love the look of this character. Thank you. No problem. And we got a reward for it. We get a bed. A sea dog's bed. I'm going to find a good spot to set this up and settle in. I'm actually really excited to start my new life here. Very good. Okay, let's go put down our new bed. Yeah. Easter egg before I go. If you do eat the yellow berry, try talking to the statue. Oh, oh, you can actually do it. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. All right. I got to do that then. 100%. Oh, I can't wait. Now I definitely got to go back. New bed. And we'll place this bad boy right here. Perfect. Um, and we'll move the bedside table too. Uh, what was that called? Small crate and a candle? Okay. Small crate and a candle. Kind of like a bedside table. I love the decoration placement in this game too. So good. Duck. Yes. Duck. Handle. Nice. Okay. Good, good, good. Now we just got to get rid of our cot out of our inventory. I wonder, we could, you know what? We could probably sell the cot eventually. We probably will do. Okay. Looking good in here, yeah? I think so. Perfect. Hello, Maddie. How are you? Welcome in, Maddie. Okay, let's donate uh loom stone two fabric and three metal pipes okay so we just desperately need a lot of pipes pipe for the air tank machine and pipe for that let's go to bed Sleep. nice Yeah, I think this game's beta opens up. I don't know how, if it's going to be an open beta or not. I'm not entirely sure. I do not know. Um, but I know it's opening up a bit in, um, uh, in, on the 26th, I believe. So in four days, uh, right now, this is kind of just like the early access to the beta and things like that. So definitely look into it for sure. And again, I got to figure out how to get fiber again. Uh, but I'm going to go to the yellow berry. We're going to go see yellow berries. Yeah. Yeah. I got to get, uh, I got to get fabric. I got to get, uh, what you put a jigger for fabric. I got to get, um, uh, fiber, fiber. Yeah. I'm going to be driving my big motor. 
right on over there. Maybe I'm already on yellow berries if I have this big motor in my face. This is the definition of motorboating, baby. <laughs> Somebody had to say it. There we go. Oh, you can make metal pipe on the fabricator? Oh, okay. Good shout. Good shout. Yeah, if you sign up for the playtest, you, you, most likely you'll probably get, uh, you'll probably get, uh, put in. This is motorboating, baby. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know where the yellow berries are. We have to find the yellow berries, yeah? First and foremost. I'm gonna get some of this glass real quick. Or not. Nah. No glass. Right here. Okay, there we go. There's a glass. Glass and oil. Okay. Where did this tipper get the yellow berries from? Oh, crap. Right there. A strange yellow berries. Here we go. We've eaten the yellow berry. Behold, a virtue rise, for it is I, Lord of the Sunbeam, Master of the Curly Ribbons, the Chaser of Mouse, Mice, <laughs> the Water of the Yarn Ball, Meowzy the Fluffiest. I have watched you running and jumping and smashing. Yes, I've enjoyed the smashing the most. You please. You please me, small person, to show my pleasure. I, in my infinite glory, present to you a gift. A gift you must find. Hunting for shiny things is the best part of any gift I have spoken. I command you to find the gift, and only this shall you, or then shall you behold the wonder I have bequeathed unto you, and know the full extent of my generosity. Once you've successfully found my glorious gift, return to me, and I shall speak with you again, if I'm so inclined. I, Meowzy the Fluffiest, have spoken. I'm done with you now. Oh my god. Treasure map? Okay. Okay. Over here. You got it, partner. Wow. Was the Cheshire the cat moment? <laughs> Whoa! Hello, that's a mouse. Am I tripping? <laughs> or is that mouse supposed to be there? Oh, I think that mouse is supposed to be there. I'm not tripping. You tripping? Okay, the dig site's over here, though. Has to be over here. Okay, we'll dig over here. Hey, okay, or you know, just chop things no 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 pull out your shovel sir perfect we found it oh wind up mouse speak to meowsy you got it partner oh there's red berries here too a oh, blush berry sorry oh and fiber oh you get fiber from the berry bushes okay now i know we got it Has there always been the stairs here? I guess so. All right, let's see what, what, what let's see. Let's see. Let's see what he has to say now. Uh oh, I need to eat my berries again. Get back into the state of mind. You have further amused me with your finding of my treasure. I shall speak with you again. You have found my favorite toy that I spent many hours batting and swatting for my amusement. I am now done with that toy. It bores me. But you shall keep it and look upon it with wonder. Meowzy has spoken. I am done with you again. Seek me out elsewhere, and perhaps I shall grant you more of my treasures. Or perhaps I shall swat you soundly with my mighty paw. That is awesome. I hope there is more of these, uh, like, Meowzies around the world. Dick. That was really cool. I'm all for it, baby. I'm all for it. Let's go. Me and my big motorboat. 
<laughs> but the yellow berries, I could talk to all kinds of things. <laughs> Ah, this is good stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you fool. I was trying to, like, switch keys and take a drink of water. It does make everything look more saturated, doesn't it? That is cool, isn't it? Just a reminder also, I will be giving away nine keys to members. Members, if you are a member of this channel, please make sure to join the Discord in the link down below. Connect your YouTube account to the Discord, to your Discord account, so that they merge together. When you do that, you should be able to have access to the members meetup in the Discord channel. If you have access to that, then you've done it correctly. I will be giving away nine keys at the end of today's stream to members in that Discord channel. And it's going to be first come, first serve. So make sure to do that because I will be giving away nine keys today. And there will be nine people that will be able to do that. If you are a member of the channel, you can participate for sure. Okay, Fabricator, Metal Pipes. Hello, Curtis. How are you? Good to see you. Metal Pipe. Metal bars, metal pipe, metal bars, metal pipe. Okay. Metal bars. I feel like I need to have more of these going on, these forges. I guess there's like simple forge, but maybe eventually there'll be a more complicated forge. Okay. There we go. channel in the discord it will be the members channel on the discord how do you link youtube you go into your discord settings and you should be able to connect you your youtube account to it okay play some more mm. i guess putting lights by the soon-to-be cafe is probably a way to go too right here Go. There. Maybe like one right somewhere over here ish. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe right there. There we go. Looks nice. Wonder what they look like at night, too. We can get 300 likes. Oh, baby. Almost 300 likes. Yeah. Anchor, I love you. <laughs> Just straight up. I'm a big fan of you, Anchor. Big, big fan. Hey, okay. so the next thing we need now is just these and that will be good. I'm going to need more fiber, though. I'm going to get the cloth done. I wonder if I can just buy. I, you know, we haven't really looked into the shops yet. Welcome to the Renard's Retail. Cans, home of the no money back guaranteed. I would like to sell something. Let's talk. Ah, okay. Very well. Held the berries. Because why not? Guess we can't buy? Uh, plate there and then a cooking station and the pirate sign which we can donate the cooking station and metal plate which is actually pretty easy to do we'll do that next cafe up and going we're gonna need a campfire so we're gonna need more stone how do you link the discord and youtube uh you link it through the settings on your discord you go to your discord settings to be able to link uh youtube to it you there Items for sale are displayed on the counter. Oh, Moxie. Thank you, Moxie. I'll have to look at it now. <laughs> now I'm curious. Uh, 
Do I have metal pipe in my inventory? No, I don't have metal pipe in the inventory. I do have metal frame though. I should probably drop the metal frame off. Yeah, so if you can access that channel, if you are a member of the channel, and if you can access that channel in the Discord, you've done it correctly, and then I will be posting nine keys after today's stream there. Uh, let's see. Metal frames here, yeah? Oh, don't dig it, you fool. Go. And then just the cooking station, and then I guess the cafe will be like the first thing we get done. Campfire. Yo, cafe will be done before the clothing store. Eight more hours until the Monster Hunter Go first event? What is Monster Hunter Go? What is Monster Hunter Go? What do you have for set? Broken motor? Bulgy gas tank? Mechanical parts? Oh, that's so... so that changes every day, I'm assuming. Yeah? Alright, let's get the cooking station built. Oh, we're so close to getting these shops up and going. So exciting. Excuse me, sir. Uh, we will do... Over here. I'm going to need a pot, I think, right? Yeah, let me grab the pot real quick. I know I have an extra pot on me. Perfect. Okay, cooking station up and going. All right, the cafe is going to get done now. <laughs> ah, still don't have enough fiber. Monster Hunter now, not go. Oh, like Pokemon Go, but Monster Hunter. Interesting. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. I almost said Pokemon Go. Uh, I was like, wait, Pokemon Go? Is it like Monster Hunter but Pokemon Go? But then I thought maybe Monster Go was like a typo or something. Interesting. So does it like come out? It comes out um, on apps, I guess, in eight hours. Yeah, is that what you're saying? Or an event? Or is the game already out? Or is there an event in the game? Okay, here we go. Hooray, we've done it. Cafe's up and going. Oh, the game released a week ago. Today's the first event in the game. Okay, I see. I see. Okay. Mm -mm. Is there that many different monsters in Monster Hunter? I mean, like in Pokemon, like there's a lot of different Pokemon. Is there a lot of different monsters in Monster Hunter? If we get fiber from this, did get fiber? Good. Guess if we go around picking all the uh, berry bushes, we'll get fiber, all the fiber eventually we need. Do I get fiber from this? Since it is like a dead leaf, a sponge leaf. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Trash can. Hooray! Uh, no. Don't chop somebody's fence here. That'd be very rude. Looking for bushes. Looking for berry bushes. Don't do that either. <laughs> Go. I don't know if I get fiber from digging, though. Cinder block, metal, and things like that. I don't want to dig again. <clears throat> I'll be honest. I've never played Monster Hunter, I don't think. I have seen videos on Monster Hunter. Like, I've seen some Let's Plays on it. But I've never actually played it myself. Oh, I'll disassemble this. Oh. Assemble that.
Any berry bushes over here? There we go. Come up here. We haven't been up here. Oh, baby. Where is this going to take us? The heck? Oh, it would be cool if the, you could like find some like treasure chests or like some loot. I'm hitting loot around. There's more berry bushes on the beach. Okay. Have you been up here? No. Parkour parkour. I'm all for adventuring. <laughs> nice. Oh, this way. Oh, I don't want this to be the end. I want there to be more. I want there to be more. I want the yeah, 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 yeah. I want there to be more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. You know I want more. I want more. I want to go all the way to the top. <laughs> oh, you see more berry bushes? I went straight to them. Pride? Oh, dang it. You've tried. You can't get, go any higher. There we go. Some more fibers. All right, we'll go around the entire beach here and see if we can get more fiber. There's some more right there. Yes. Perfect. Oh, look at They've actually put their houses next to each other or their tents. I wonder if eventually then they will just like move into the town when we have like some things like built out and things like that. That's probably what it is. Boom. I might have enough fiber, possibly for more, uh, more cloth, but we'll have to see. <laughs> more berry bushes. And we definitely should have enough. I'm a streamer. I mostly play COD and horror games. People want to hear me, hear me scared. I used to play COD. I used to stream COD. I remember those days. I used to stream COD on Twitch. I stream PUBG. I used to stream Apex. I used to do all those things. I remember those days. I didn't run past the berry bush. How dare you? I did good. No, oh, I did good. I didn't run past a berry bush. I'm not reading chat in passing bush. Trust me, I'm all about the bush game. No, no worries there. <laughs> in your trigger finger ready. <laughs> okay, we should have enough fiber now. I love the graphics. I really definitely will definitely be getting this one when it's released. Yeah, it's 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 a very nice game. It's actually uh, it's actually better than I was expecting, honestly. Um, and also like it, it's it's very very uh, how how would you say it's very uh, it's pretty well optimized too. Yes, there's obviously bugs with it. We've seen it, but like nothing like it's it early beta, right? Things not like game breaking or anything, except for like the the bad bug that we had for like the. Um, you know, get stuck in the dialogue. But other than that, like, everything has been pretty good. I've been very happy with it so far. All right, time to make 
I need another fabricator possibly. Wait a sec. Wait, we'll just wait a sec. By the way, thanks for subscribing, ST. Appreciate it. Um, we're gonna go. Yeah, middle pipes. We need quite a bit of these. Let's go for that. How long is that gonna take? Seven minutes. Okay. And then the clothing should be done soon. We have a way to interact without <laughs> going outside. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. Now we just need metal pipes and that's all done. Alrighty. Now I kind of want to use my mask. Come over here. And do a little bit more thorough searching. I feel like I've, I've been a little rushed over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get some more stuff. More resources. Go. It does seem like things do respawn. In these areas. Yeah. Wait a sec. Do things respawn in the crate as well? Maybe. Oh my gosh. My cousin's been wanting me to play online, but I know my mouth and it will be them telling me to calm down. <laughs> oh my goodness. A large crate. Nice, 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 nice. Barbells. Oh, those are barbells. Yeah, once we get more metal pipes too as well, we'll be able to get the oxygen tank thing uh, dealt with as well. Oh. Oh, come on. I used to, yeah, I used to play a lot of COD back in the day, but I don't know, dude. It's too sweat and too toxic nowadays. It's like people get so angry. It's like, ugh. It's one of those games where you like you play and just you play just to numb yourself. I feel like it's basically all you play it for. One. I hate everything. Oh, whoops. I hate everything about. Um, I hate everything about what Call of Duty did in bringing like actual people and skins into the game. Like that's so I I just hate that so much. Selling skins based off of like licensed, like like real not like licensed stuff, but like real people, like like the Snoop Dogg skin, the Nicki Minaj skin. The bunch of streamers, all their different skins. Like, I just, it's kind of, I don't know. It's weird. It's just weird. Wasn't a fan of it. Let's put that right. There we go. Oh, hello. How are you? I don't know why I'm eating a bunch of food if I'm going straight to bed. I shouldn't be doing that. Hello, Highlander. Good to see you. What made you go from COD and those types of games to the cozy genre? That's a huge difference. Well, I w actually, I think the cozy genre is just something I've gotten into recently. Um, I lost my job back in COVID, like a lot of people did. And I've always wanted to be, I've always wanted to make YouTube videos. I've always wanted to like do streaming and all that. And so during the time where I lost my job and all of us were on lockdown, I took the time to really focus more in on my content. And um, I started playing indie games because if you play COD, no one's ever going to notice you. You know, if you're starting out a channel, no one's ever going to like look on you. 
and at that time i had a little bit of self-reflection where it's like i'm never going to be like i i used to be you know i used to be pretty good at cod but the, <laughs> the younger generation is just like so adaptive and like i kind of just accepted like i will never be as good as most of these people so i should put my talents somewhere else and uh, i started playing indie games um playing games that never not a lot of people knew about i played a lot of tycoon uh, management games i played a lot of story driven games and then eventually i started playing more farming games as of like in the past year um mostly dinkum is what started that but i didn't usually play these types of games before dinkum um i played a lot of simulators is what i did i got into the simulator genre and i still play simulators to this day but i grew the channel based around simulators and tycoon management games and then eventually i played a game called dinkum and then people really liked it and people are like oh yeah i want to see more of this kind of stuff and then i kind of kind of branched off from dinkum to other like farming type games and stuff like that so that's basically where that all came from but yeah but I wanted to make YouTube and I wanted to do uh, I, I wanted I really wanted to do this as a profession so I had to <laughs> come to terms that some of my favorite games there was no way I was going to be playing my favorite games all the time but I definitely uh, you know definitely found some games I never would have thought I've ever found through indie games and stuff like that indie games are amazing though and they forever will be Yo. You love watching me play Cat Cafe? Yeah, see Cat Cafe. Another one, right? Cat Cafe, that's a good one. Craft that. Oh, Rusty Tanks now. We have a bunch of Rusty Tanks, so that's good. Like, I used to play Overwatch too. I used to play Overwatch with my brother. My brother uh, was top 500 in Overwatch. And like, I couldn't keep up with him. And he's younger than me. So I'm like, dude, I know I'm not as good as, I'm not good, I'm not as good as, I'm not as good as I used to be in FPS games. But I kind of kicked it to the curb. Plus I knew that content wise, it wasn't smart anyways to make COD and, you know, Battle Royale games videos because everybody does it. So now he's wait so we have the cafe repaired right that should be going i wonder if i could talk to him about that hang on or does it take a couple of days greeting scans how may this unit be of service to you let's talk this workshop can process any materials that we have a res recipe for its capabilities can be expanded by adding more crafting stations as well as discovering new recipes as previously stated you are authorized to use any of the machines within the shop yeah we know about that okay very good let me go i'm gonna get some more tanks i think so that's being done i think right under the sea diving power in order to complete repairs i'm going to need a power box anchor thinks i can find one okay light up the town which i believe is still i guess doing let's let's repair or let's uh refill the tank yeah I've been very, uh, very lucky and very fortunate that ever since I lost my job in 2020, which was a job that I was at and it was like a job that I was so like good at and I had worked there for five years and it's actually one of the jobs that got me more, um, uh, it, it gave me the skills to talk to people and make people, I guess, feel more comfortable about themselves and things like that. So I'm very thankful for the skills that I learned, but I worked there for five years and then I lost it in 2020 and then I've been fortunate and lucky since to be able to do this. So yeah. Um, I need a tank. Tank. Give me a tank. There it is. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Get it. I would like five yeah five three minutes good
it took me the courage to i tell you what if like my older videos and my older live streams like my older videos is basically where it's at my older videos are just terrible it takes a while before you actually find your voice and the confidence pop quiz i've seen lots of good places to live but just can't make up my mind do you think this place says pokey lives here uh, does it give the whole back off vibe to you i think it does because it's kind of cornered cornered off i think it's great yeah. <sighs> if you like it there must be something seriously wrong with it i'm gonna look keep looking frick <laughs> very well green it kind of goes with your color Hot quiz do you think this place says pokey i don't think it's right that settles it if you don't like it it must be perfect i'll take plenty of materials to get this place fixed up but i'm sure it's nothing you can't handle thanks for volunteering to get to do the gathering by the way and for the complete lack of taste okay boom boom easy done new home for pokey got it scaffolding and then i guess he does like the building <laughs> oh oh man Hello, Sammy. Are you okay? Oh, hey, Cans. Wow, you look so much better from the last time we spoke. I finished placing things. Cans, you did it. The new light looks amazing. It's not much, but every journey begins with just one step, right? We can get some more lights set up and maybe a bench or two and some sort of game table. Ah, I'm getting away ahead of myself, but with you around, I just can't help it. I think Critter Cove is going to turn into a great place to call home. You know what? I was holding on to this thing from back home, but I want you to have it instead. What is it? Table? Park bench. Put it somewhere in town so everyone can enjoy it. We've all got to pitch in to make this this a better place after all. Very well. Cool. But where would I put this bench? This is somebody's home. Um great question. Maybe over here, yeah. It's a nice little spot. Here we are. Nice. All right, everybody, now everybody's working. Everybody's working hard. Are you okay? Hey there, Cans. I was hoping I'd run into you today. See, I found a rubber tire buried on the beach and immediately thought of you. <laughs> I said to myself, Tipper, I bet Cans could use a rubber tire. And I bet he would offer 50 doubloons. The amazing doubloons. <laughs> for the amazing find. So how about it? Sure, I'll buy it. Yay, I had a feeling today would be my lucky day here you go great go grog oh my lord such a waste of money honestly but you know what makes him happy that's what matters the balloons of course okay is moving into your house wait that's where you live in your game is you live right there that's funny i guess i haven't looked at the notice board either Critter Cove is now almost rat-free, says local harbor master. Rats were a serious problem in the past, but thanks to a passing cheese barge, they have almost entirely left the area. Nosy news will keep you informed as this story... As this story... That's it. Just checking. Just checking in to see if you were paying any attention. Me, when I told you to check the bulletin board. Well done. Okay, very well. Uh, now open Renard's is the perfect one-stop shop for all your shopping needs need important salvage looking to to lighten your packs Renard's has you covered stop by today and experience discount products at quality prices. I doubt it <laughs> Was it this one yeah this one no. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, let's go this way. I want to get more bars going. That rolling. Perfect. I wonder how our relationships are doing. Oh, yeah, I forgot we had new people in. Favorite color? Likes berries? Okay. Purple. Tipper for purple. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dottie likes the color white. Favorite color white. Oh, Sammy, you want your house here? 
Hey, Karens, what a relief that you stopped by. I'm looking for a new place to live, and I just can't make up my mind. I need a second opinion from you specifically. What do you think about this place? It's nice, but is it a nice, nice? It is nice, nice. Okay, then that's it. This is going to be my new pad. Now we need to collect the stuff I'll need to fix it up. I'm so re ready to not sleep on the beach anymore. Crams are surprisingly territorial. Okay, I need more brick. My character looks like Aaron Hansen. I don't know who Aaron Hansen is. Remember when I stumbled on your channel? I was feeling very alone in the world and I remember just laughing and connecting to you and somewhat and chat and you and somewhat chat and now I have something to look forward to. Aw. Love to hear that. Love to hear that tea. Okay, we'll let that go. Two two minutes. We'll do a little bit of cleanup on the side, yeah. I know Sammy's so cute, right? Absolutely. From Game Grumps. Oh. My favorite color is white, and when I tell someone that without fail, they try to argue it's not a color. Well, that's not very nice. Because it is a color. How is it not a color? Who would ever argue that? What the heck? How would they say white is not a color? Okay. <laughs> that is insane. I would, I would ask them, then what is it then? If it's not a color, what is it? <laughs> Black and white are not colors? What? Don't you need white to make other colors? It's a shade? It's a shade of color. You better tell me it's a shade of color. You need white to make pink. Theoretically, white is not a color, nor black. That's a bunch of BS. I think we can change that. We can make a petition. We can change it. We, we can change it. Who wants to sign the petition? It's a shade. Yeah, what? Shade of color? Or the absence of color? How can you be an absence of color if you're color? You're a color. I don't understand the whole argument of the color of your skin then just goes right out the window no what the heck Hey, Alex, thank you for the re-up. I appreciate that. Thank you for the re-up, Alex. I appreciate that a lot. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Old dented lantern. White is all colors. <sighs> I don't care what anybody says. It's like a fruit and a vegetable. I don't care what anybody says. White and black, that's a color. Hey, that's one year. Thank you, Alex. One whole year. You got the new badge, the one year badge. Thank you very, very much for that. Appreciate that. Thank you. Woo. The one year badge coming in strong. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Love to see it. Black is all color, not reflected. That makes sense because I guess, right? Uh... Uh, the sky is not blue, right? It looks blue, but it's not blue, right? Because isn't it reflected from the ocean? I don't know. 
Jesus. So the color of your skin is not really a thing. I'm so disappointed right now. So disappointed. Oh wait, I need the brick. Actually, you know what? Let's put some chest away. <clears throat> um, let's go. Boom. Boom, boom. Salvage chair. Nice. Furnace door. Question mark. <laughs> Rusty gas can? Okay. Give me the stone back. Resin. We don't need resin. Red mill we'll put away. Stone slabs. Broken motors. I guess we could kind of put most of this away until we need the actual item. I guess so. I know a lot of people are probably like, yo, where you at? Come on now. You're right. You're right. You're right. Make it make sense. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Lynn, thank you for gift, uh, gifting out. Five memberships. That was very kind of you, Phelan. Appreciate you. Thank you. That was very kind. How are you? Thank you. Thank you, Phelan. Appreciate you. Big ups to you, Phelan. Love it. <laughs> you don't have the members meet up okay so the member hang on a second let me look into this real quick the members meet up if you go into the discord channel uh the text it is i forgot what it's under it's under let me see hang on a sec you got a new mommy <laughs> thank you Phelan. i appreciate it uh if you're in the discord it is under level up it's in the social club it's under level up. It has star eyes emoji. It says members meet up. Um, that's where I'm going to be uh, putting the um, uh, the codes. But yeah, uh, it's under level ups. If you see memes, level ups, then there's like members meet up. Oh. Yeah, social club. And then at the bottom of the social club is... Uh, Level ups and then under level ups is the members meet up. We have so much scaffolding going on now. My lord. Oh, hello. Well, the time you stopped by. I didn't, it didn't seem right to reveal my new house without you around, considering all the help you gave me. I also wanted to give you this to say thanks. I know I can be a bit prickly at times, but I still like to recognize when someone does right by me. What was that? A sea dog's mirror. Now give me just a moment and we'll get the first look at my new home. I'm honestly really excited to not be living on a, li living on a beach anymore. If you don't see it, try restarting your Discord. Relaunching your Discord. Um, yeah, try relaunching your Discord and stuff like that. You don't have access. You got to make sure your YouTube account is... Your right YouTube account is connected to, this, to, the, to the Discord account that you're using. Yeah. And, um, and if, if, once you do that, try to like refresh the app or refresh the, uh, that. Yeah. And we hit 300 likes. Hooray. Thank you. Thank you. Repairs of the meta person covering shop are complete. Uh, the structure is an operational state. Cans should find a searching database tailored to operate this business. This unit is authorized to supply cans with a reward for your assistance in completing its task. Nice. Fun time nightstand. <laughs> Very good. Have a good one. Have a good one, Chibi. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good night. Yeah. If cans gives this unit just a moment, it shall remove the scaffolding and complete the construction. Oh, here we go. Is it meat person? Is it not meta person? It's meat person?
No freaking way. Is it meat person? Hey. Oh my god. I'm embarrassed. My dyslexia is in full freaking force here. Oh, damn it. <laughs> dyslexia, where are you? You're on my forehead, apparently, or you're in chat. This unit has completed repairs on the biomatter distri distribution center. This facility lacks automated serving functions. This unit recommends cans find a meat person. Holy hell. Proficient in the creation and serving of edible biomatter to operate the facility. This unit is authorized to supply cans with a reward for assistance in the completion of the biomatter ingestion facility. I'm so disappointed in myself. <sighs> this unit shall now remove the scaffolding and complete the final construction steps. Thank you and have a nice day. That's actually really cool, the cafe. Damn it. Place the tire and pipe, then find a power box to complete the repairs. No, 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 no. We've already done this. We've already done this. Thank you. Plenty of air tanks. Ah, Cans, I see you're already hard at work getting the shops of Critter Cove up and running. Capital. Very nice work. Getting the shops up and running is the key to making our town successful, but fixing them is only half the battle. As they say, they will also need to be staffed and maintained. Staffed? A shop cannot run itself. It's going to need someone to handle its day-to-day -day operation. You should assign someone to the job of running the shop. To assign someone a job, just speak to them and let them know which shop they should work at. Don't worry too much about it, since you can remove them later if you wish. Mind you, not everyone is good at every job. You'll need to figure out who can run what place of business in order to make sure that every shop has a competent staff. Maintain? Yes, of course. In order to keep a shop in good operational order, it'll need to be well maintained. Since the staff will be busy actually running the shop, it'll be up to you. A shop will need supplies and occasionally simple tasks to keep functioning. Every shop has a maintenance box located just outside. Check in there to see what the shop's needs. Use a maintenance box to drop off items that the shop needs in order to stay in good working order. A well maintained shop will be more effective, but a poorly maintained shop will eventually close. So make sure you get the shop staffed and stay on top of the maintenance to keep them in good working order. I know you're the right person to handle this important task, Capital. <sighs> My lord. Can I go into their house? I am not home right now. Okay, very well. <laughs> Can I go into the clothing shop? I guess, you know who I'm going to put? In the clothing shop? I think I'm gonna put Sammy in the clothing shop. I think Sammy would be... Well, actually, I guess it depends on skill, huh? Damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meta, meet, meet, meta. Meta. Frick me, frick me, frick me, frick me. Okay, so how do we do that, though? Jobs for all. One of the keys to making critters a prosperous town is to have a well-maintained uh, shop that can meet the needs of the people. Ask someone. To, apparently, not everyone is good at every job, so it may take a little while, a little bit to find the right person to work at a particular place. But that's okay, since even a poor staff member is better than having a closed shop. I can also move them around to a different jobs later. Now, how would you do that? Oh. Oh. Maintenance required. Sugar. Honeybee melon, Jellaloon. Employee information. Oh, you can have a tavern in this game. You can have a gym, a bait shop, a bakery, and a museum. Huh. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. This is cool. Nice. Ah. <sighs>
Copper bottom, what do you have to say about everything now? You okay, copper bottom? Uh, yeah, you're good. You're good. You're, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. We kind of like waiting for Sammy to finish up his house real quick. You want a bakery? You want the museum? Right? That's what I'm saying. A little better to game. How are you? Good to see you. Welcome in. Okay. We have a lot of furniture on us, so let's put that stuff down. We got a mirror. You got to check yourself before you wreck yourself before you leave. Nice. Okay. Uh, fun time night stand. I, you know, sure, dude. Don't know exactly what that means, but fun time night stand. Uh, we'll put that right there for now. Let's, well, I kind of like the wood. So let's actually use this. Fun time night stand. Looks like it can almost like pass as like a kitchen counter. In a way, we'll put that night stand like right here. Put stuff in it. Can put stuff in the fun time nightstand. Nice. The dog chair. Um. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Nice. Awesome. You never got a fun time nightstand? Well, maybe because you don't have enough fun time next to your nightstand. Let's go to bed. I don't know what I just said. I don't think this game's out on Steam Deck. Um, you could probably, you know what? I think, I don't know if, I don't know if Susie's tried it on the Steam Deck, but um, you could probably get away with it, maybe on the Steam Deck. Yeah. It is controller supported, fully controller supported. Oh my lord. Uh, who the heck are you? Are you the inspector? <laughs> Greetings, guys. I'm here for another inspection to ensure that everything is up to standards. Everything appears to be in order. Congratulations are in order. You've successfully completed all the necessary tasks to advance Critter Cove to rank one. Munch name. Thanks for subscribing. In the full game. Oh. Oh. In the full game, there are more buildings to restore, critters to meet, and of course, the entire world and ocean to explore. Oh, and it says on my clipboard here, I should tell you that the CCC strongly recommends adding the game to your Steam wish list. Whatever that implies. We trust that your time during this closed beta was enjoyable and that you're eagerly awaiting for the full release. As always, the Karen Community Commission is open to receiving feedback about your experience. In the meantime, continue acquainting yourself with the town and ensure nothing has escaped your notice during this beta testing phase. Until we meet again. Haha! <laughs> Very well! Holy crap. Oh then. That has been something, I tell you. Sammy. And uh, you're just in time to witness the grand opening of my freshly remodeled house. It's going to be so sweet. Not only will I no longer live on a beach with mean old crabs, but I can finally unpack all my stuff too. And don't think I've forgotten you, my friend. I got you a little something that I hope shows how much I appreciate all the hard work you did for me. <gasps> oh, a bamboo bed? Now it's time for the big reveal. Just a moment there. Oh, Sammy. Can we go inside? Yes! Please be quiet. I'm sleeping. No! <laughs> no. No. Does a cat sleep 23 and a half hours a day? I want inside your house, though. Dude, I can't believe we got this, like, awesome bed. We have, like, three beds now. Look at that bed. Holy moly. Look at that bad boy. Nice. You can't go inside any of the NPCs' houses? Oh, frick. Early beta, early access. Incredible. Incredible nonetheless. This has been really, really fun. I have to say, this game is on my wish list. It better be on your wish list. I believe there's going to be uh, more betas going out uh, for everyone, not just you know early access. But there's going to be more betas going out on the um, on the 26th. So you can go ahead and sign up for the playtest, which is the beta. I think on Steam right now. 
if you go over there add it to your wish list i think there's a request access play test button i'm pretty sure i don't know i haven't seen it myself i've just heard about it um so definitely go do that if you are interested i'm going to be giving away nine keys for early beta access right now for members in the members chat so make sure if you are a member of the channel like i said i'll stream today make sure that you go and uh connect your discord and connect your youtube account and all that good stuff and we're going to be giving away uh nine keys uh how it's going to work it's going to be very much a first come first serve thing so yay i see people putting uh putting their names and hi i'm going to type in there hi there everyone i see people typing their names and everything make sure you just go to the discord uh link your youtube if you have a member if you were gifted a membership today then guess what you're a lucky son of a gun uh you have a chance to also do it uh, for people that have never redeemed a code on Steam before, all you have to do is open up your Steam launcher, and then in the top left-hand corner, in the top left-hand corner, there's uh, a tab where you press games, and then you hit redeem, and that's where you're going to put the code. So I want to say a special thank you to TinyBuild for sending me an early access code so I can show it off to all of you here. Um, and uh, thank you, TinyBuild, for sending me some keys so I can give some early access to the folks today too as well. I really enjoy this. I really can't wait. This game will be set to release in early access on the first quarter of 2024. So somewhere between January and March. If I were to guess, it would have to be March. So expect this game maybe March uh, next year, 2024. And that um, this has been really fun. So cool to see that the game. Um, it, it's cool to see the game come to an end on the beta but in a nice little way, right? For sure. So yeah, um, I will drop the uh, the codes in the in the channel. So make sure to just sit there um, after the stream. It's going to come hard. It's going to come quick. And then there's going to be nine codes. And then you got to get it and do it. And once you do uh, get a code, please make sure to say which one you have redeemed so that we can keep track of that. So yes. It's going to be in the members meetup. Make sure it's in the members meetup tab and uh, you can see all that. Anyways, it's been a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more, I guess, Critter Cove here in the future next year in 2024 and all that good stuff. You can uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, x.com and whatnot. You can support on Patreon to see personal vlogs by me, by Danielle and I. We do personal vlogs on Patreon. We just did a miniature golf uh, date this last weekend that's our recent post recent video we put up on patreon so you can check that out as well with that being said thank you and i will see you all tomorrow with another stream and all that um i think i'm going to be doing a member stream on monday we're going to be doing a members stream on monday i believe i'm a little bit behind on schedule here so yeah definitely do take care and i will talk to you all very 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 soon and make sure to be in that channel and grab up those codes. All right? Okay. Have a good one, and do take care.